So let's see. What is going on, you guys? Because clearly something don't want this message to get out. Everything was freezing. There were so many things happening. So let's see what's going on. Because, baby, what I do know is that you spoke the truth. You spoke the truth on a specific situation, and it played out to the T. Something is no surprise to you. So we're going to find out what that is. Come through, spirit. Baby, look at that. First thing on the card, intuition to protect. You knew that somebody needed to have their guards up. You knew that somebody needed to protect themselves. We got attitudes from the past. You could have known that somebody had a problem with you. Okay. For some of you, some somebody could have even been making up information as if they got history with you. I don't know why I'm getting that. A cancer could be involved. Okay. Come through. You could have told somebody they needed to protect some, themselves because you knew somebody was a villain here. You knew. Come through. Child, let's see what else is going on, you guys. Yeah, Mercury retrograde is retrograding. Okay. Like we can't get the message out, but we're going to get it out. Baby, we big Sagittarius energy. And I said Sagittarius when we tried to start the first time around. Okay, Sagittarius energy coming out. What does say? The highest ideas. If, I mean, you had the idea. Somebody is thinking, damn, they should listen to you. Somebody is thinking that you had the idea. You knew the truth. You knew the operation. You knew how things were going to go down. You knew you needed to protect yourself. For some of you divine feminines, there's something in the past that like, you, you knew you had to protect yourself and you did. You could have told somebody they need to protect themselves. For some of you divine feminines, you've been protecting yourself. You've been protecting yourself and now some rules are going to play out with the rules of get it out to the world. You could have prophesied something here. Somebody's violating rules here. Okay. Damn. All right. We're going to see what's going on. Come through. Come through. Okay. Let's see, we got big 12th house energy. Interesting enough, this 12th house energy talks about hidden tendencies. Puts me back in that uh, Scorpio energy we saw before I started restarted the live stream where we were talking about secrets. You knew that somebody needed to protect themselves because somebody was had like hidden tendencies. Somebody here, somebody here was a, a villain. Or something like that. There's a karmic energy here. You knew somebody needed to protect themselves from. And now this person is looking at your ideas. Yeah. Look at this. We got Uranus. Stir up a situation. We have stir up a situation by using. We have invent a way. So somebody could have created some kind of drama with you, Divine Feminine. Somebody could have made it seem like they had some kind of drama with you in the past. And this is why they wanted somebody to have their guards up against you or this is like somebody is saying that you were trying to steer up drama but the thing is it's like now there are people somebody here this could be a divine masculine is looking at this whole situation now like whoa divine feminine told me i needed to protect myself from you and you made it seem like she was Steering up drama, steering up a situation when all along you had hidden tendencies or something like that. Okay, we gonna see what that's about. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Or somebody tried to make it seem like behind the scenes that somebody needed to protect themselves from you, but you knew that somebody needed to protect themselves from a karmic circle, a karmic dynamic or something like that. We're gonna take one more from here. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We have your destiny here. 10th house energy. 10th house energy talks about Capricorn energy, where you're going, your destiny. Somebody tried to make it seem like you're, damn, somebody tried to make it seem like you're going down some kind of dark path here. This is like somebody tried to push you down a dark path. This is almost like, too, with this Uranus energy, like somebody could have made this up. Somebody could have even tried to spoken on your like spoke on your career about how you got to where you are. Yeah, divine friend, this is almost like somebody is could have been trying to steer up drama by trying by talking about how you got to where you are, how you got the resources that you got, things that you did to get money. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, they could even be talking about your history. Okay. 
people from your past, somebody's pretending like they know something about your past here. This is some, oh, okay, come through spirit. Whoever this is, okay, and I'm gonna tell y'all real quick, I just did not wanna delay restarting this reading. Just me ending the reading and going downstairs and coming back up, I broke a nail. I literally broke a nail within 45 seconds. This is, this is, <laughs> that makes me feel like, man, you could have gotten, you could have got felt hurt in this situation too, because you could have literally been trying to look out for someone and this person could have been believing somebody who told this person that they needed to watch out for you. This person could have done this in retaliation because you could have been putting somebody on, um, how they say it, on beat or on point about a certain situation. You could have been waking up a divine masculine. You could have been waking somebody up. And it's like, um, it's like when this person realized the role you played or something like that, this person felt, this person was so eager to get it out to the world, come through with that big Sagittarius energy, get it out to the world. This, I mean, this person was shooting information out left and right, shooting information, underhanded people. I don't know why I'm getting as many times y'all seen me seen this card. I ain't never really even talk about how we got Sagittarius shooting a bow and arrow in both directions like that. It's like somebody was being overhand and underhand. Somebody was helping somebody and shooting somebody at the same time. You could have known that or something like that you could have somebody felt like um it's like you i'm telling you it's like you could have just prophesied something here and this person it's like what they decided to do was try to take control of your destiny for some of you take control of your career somebody could have wanted you to lose your career lose your destiny where you going somebody this this is also giving me somebody was speaking about hidden tendencies as if they knew that about you this was all a deflection this was all a deflection because you knew that somebody needed to protect themselves or you knew you needed to protect yourself from this person. It is, it's like all a deflection. <laughs> Child, let's see what is going on. Child, let's see what's going on. Like getting into this reading was so difficult. I can't even, I'm telling you, like it was so difficult just getting to this reading. There's somebody who... A villain felt like they had the key to destroy you here. It's like somebody felt like they needed to, to destroy your reputation or, or destroy how somebody deals with you or how someone sees you because you because of your intuition. Because you know the truth. You know the truth about this person all along. Okay. Whew. Let's see what's going on. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. What is going on? How y'all doing in there? Yeah, this person ego got hit. Oh, come through with this intuition, intuition to protect. Mm, I almost said institution could be a group of people here that think the same way. Who oh, they got pride, big ego. Whoever this is, this karmic energy, they got a big ego. They hate that you figured them out. They hate that you knew that somebody needed to protect themselves. They hate that you are so confident in your intuition. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Gaia. Okay, sorry, I said Gala. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you so much for the super chat. You knew, it's like you, you knew that your intuition was on point. Like you, you are not wavering from your position when it comes to this energy. Very confident in who and what these people are. This could be more than one karmic energy. And these people had a major issue. It hit their ego so hard. Like I'm telling you, it's like they devised a plan. Once these people figured out you spoke the truth, this is also giving me, there could be a, um, a divine masculine or somebody that you was attached to a not so divine masculine who alerted these people or alerted a karmic energy to this warning that you gave them this truth that you spoke you could have some of you could have even spoke the truth directly to these people because the way you're coming off here divine feminine you're confident here so it's really like i don't care what these people think i don't care what these people think about me I'm going to speak my truth. Once you, once you prophesize this, once you spoke the truth about this situation, your story, ooh, is what I want to say. Somebody wanted to bury your story. They don't want your story to get out. 
So they decided to steer up a situation. Oh, come through spirit. They decided to invent, invent a way with this Uranus energy. They decided to steer up a situation when it comes to your destiny and where you're going. Because who? Because they didn't want the truth to come out. This was the plan. This was the plan all along. I'm talking about as soon as you spoke the truth, we got forgiveness in reverse. These people felt like it was unforgivable that you spoke the truth. These people devised a plan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With all according to plan, these people devised some kind of plan when it, as soon as they found out that you spoke the truth. But see, with work in reverse, baby, they got to take it back to the drawing board because that plan is not working. It's not working. It's not working. These people literally came up with a plan. They came up with a plan because you knew to protect yourself. Damn. They came up with a plan because you already knew what was up. They got so mad that you spoke the truth and somebody here is figuring out that your idea was the highest idea of them all. I'm getting the highest. It's like your idea came from the most high God. Your intuition, you knew what was up. You know, and now somebody is shook because they like, whoa, you, you knew, you knew. Yeah, the highest idea, look at this, a sudden illness, clarifying this highest idea. You knew that somebody was trying to make someone sick or you knew that somebody was bringing some kind of uh, famine. I don't know why I want to say that, a plague or something like that. You knew somebody, you knew somebody could have, shoot, you could have known somebody was a dark alchemist here. You could have known that some, known that somebody was even messing around with poison or something like that. You knew that somebody wanted to kill someone's luck here. Somebody could have not wanted you to be lucky with sudden illness. And we got luck over here. Like somebody didn't want you to. Yeah, this is something like somebody wanted to take away your divine blessings because you prophesied something. You know that somebody needed to get away from someone here too. You could have also you could have known that a divine masculine or not so divine masculine needed to get away from a karmic energy because this person was making him sick, whether that's spiritually or physically, or both. Somebody's somebody's about to be down on their luck with sudden illness and luck. Oh, come through. Lesson from the past. Somebody about to get like hit with a meteor, man. They about to be, they about to learn a lesson. They about to be a fossil around here with this damn meteor and this dinosaur on this car. Somebody about to be a fossil? Somebody about to be bones. I don't know why I'm getting that like a bag of bones right here. Somebody could be losing a massive amount of weight. Okay. Whoever like, whoa. Okay. Something could be going for the worst. Damn. Somebody could be looking they worst right now. Child, let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, you knew that something was bad for somebody here. You knew that something was bad for you. Something was bad for a divine masculine. You knew that there was a karmic energy here. Okay, somebody is sick. They're sick. Yeah, you was, and, and it made somebody sick that you're getting your story out to the world. Whoever this karmic energy is or energies, don't forget, I had that slip where I said, was about to say institution. Instead of intuition, there could be a whole institution that don't want you to get your story out. Yeah, they want to make it seem like something didn't really happen to you. With mistaken identity in reverse, somebody could be lying about some kind of death energy in reverse. Scorpio energy, they want to make it seem like they weren't doing this to you. Trying to cause endings in your career, where you're going, and your destiny, and your faith. Come through. Look at this unfinished we have unfinished and dream somebody wanted to make sure you wouldn't be able to oh come through i just said your destiny it's like they wanted to make sure that you wouldn't you can't finish your story here is what i'm getting yeah i'm trying to take look at that look at what's sticking out okay reversal Thank you. Thank you, Diamond Priestess. Thank you guys for the super chat. I appreciate when you guys support the channel. Okay. When we got unfinished dream reversal, it's like they don't want you to accomplish your dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Y'all. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. You said I'm on point that. And I'm also getting with unfinished with that dream, right? With unfinished. Whew. Let's channel for a second. 
you started telling the truth and they wanted to stop you. They wanted to stop you. You started prophesizing everything that was going on. It just took a little bit to start and you just was on it. You started probably saying everything that was going on. You knew everything that was going on. You knew what was making a situation sick. This could even be a relationship that got sick. The energy, somebody, oh, what is that? That's new. Okay, I ain't never channeled that before okay, or seen it in the cards. This is like a, somebody tried to, oh, how do I explain this? Okay, so y'all know whenever you deal with somebody, it's, it's energy. It's all energy, back and forth, back and forth. It's all energy between us. It's all energy. This is almost like somebody tried to put an illness on the energy between you and another person. Man, these people get creative. This, this, this is ridiculous. Come through. <laughs> Come through. What is that? I'm telling you. Look at that. Choose your weapon. I'm telling you, this is almost like somebody tried to weaponize energy in a way I have never heard of before. I've never heard of anything like this before. Overhand, underhand, something. This could include, like, it could take multiple people to do something like this. They had a big idea. Okay, come through. Oh, we're going to expose this. Because I don't know what they thought this is. Somebody trying to, like, make energy, somebody's energy sick. The energy, when it's shared. So you could have been in a situation with a person where it's like, it used to be good. When, whenever you're around this person, you and your divine masculine, it could have gotten to the point where you guys didn't even share words yet. Like, there's not even words spoken. And the energy just feels sick between y'all. Or something like that. Like the energy just was like weird. I don't even know how to explain this. It's sick though. It's sick. Because there's some kind of wicked energy binding or something. There's an alchemist in here. We got a wrench at work. Okay, I'm getting like a, a goddamn witch. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Come through. Look at this. Baby. We got discovery and something hidden. What I said, what I said, Divine Feminine, this is like somebody is finding out. It's like now they see. This could be a this could be a divine masculine. It's like now people are seeing what was hidden. See, you didn't need this giant telescope to see what was hidden because you came out the gate with this intuition to protect. So you already knew. You already knew what was hidden. These people that was trying to create a deflection, that don't want you to finish your story, that don't want you to get the information out, oh, now somebody is finally seeing it. They needed this big old telescope to see what was going on, but you knew what was hidden. You knew what was hidden. Somebody had to get sick to figure out what was hidden. Yeah, come through, child. What is going on? Let's see, because baby, I cannot. Oh, this is what y'all didn't want me to get out. That's why I had to restart the reading. Child, we're going to get to it. We got your faith, hidden tendencies, large institutions, overwhelmed. I'm talking about you overwhelming an entire institution. Some of y'all could be overwhelming an entire industry. A whole community is on its back, a neighborhood. Like, whoa, what's going on? You got a lot of people that's, that, that's shook right now because it's like you, you spoke the truth here. They trying to figure out how you know this. How you know this? Come through. Yeah, they trying to figure out how you know this. Look at that. Look at it. Come through, spirit. Look at that. Knowledge in reverse, what it say? Dream. What it say? They trying to figure out how you know this hidden knowledge. Baby, you know it because you the high priestess. You know it because you the high priestess. See, child. <laughs> Baby, they 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 don't know. See, these the, these rivalries, these, these hidden rivals, these hidden ops, right? <laughs> that was never hidden to you. That was never hidden to you. Somebody's finding out <laughs> that they got ops though. They finding out that they had enemies right up underneath their nose, snakes up underneath their nose. They're finding out. See, you you knew. You knew. Come through, spirit. Got big Pisces cancer energy showing up. With that uh, dream showing up on the 12th house, that's Pisces too. Double Pisces.
Pisces over there. Knowledge gives me Aquarius energy. Could be even be an Aquarius Pisces cusper involved or an Aquarius or a Pisces could be involved. A Cancer could be involved. We got Saturn showing up on that Discovery card. So baby, is karma in the building. Like, whoa, what's going on? We got Uranus energy. It's some strange going on. Somebody going to learn a lesson in a real strange way with lessons from the past. And we're talking about Uranus energy. Oh, somebody is not ready. Oh, this is going to go deep. Oh, goodness. How long are we going to be here in this reading? How long are we going to be here in this reading? Y'all know when I start saying that. Okay, we got all according to plan and great depths. Whew. This already is... Goodness. All right. All right, we gonna go, we gonna go. We gonna go there, y'all. Let's get it, let's get it. This gonna be one of those, let's get it. There's a whole plan, this gets real deep. This get real deep, somebody's gonna be taught a lesson in a real strange way. So let's go, we just started, what we is, 22 minutes in? Whew, taking deep breaths here. Somebody need to take a deep breath, cause baby, Let's get into your destiny. Where are you going in your career? What's going on? The key. Look at this. I'm telling you. Look at this. Unfinished ruins. The key. And we're clarifying your destiny. Where you're going in your career. What did I say to you guys? What did I say about 10 whole minutes ago? What did I say? Somebody wanted to make sure you couldn't complete like your purpose your goals you couldn't get to where you're going you couldn't finish anything look at what's trying to stick out look unfinished ruins the worst this it's like once they seen that you knew what was up the mystery you knew the truth you seen right through them once they seen that they devised the plan they devised the worst plan to make sure you would never be able to finish your story. Then to make sure that your story would go nowhere. This is somebody trying. They wanted to silence you. They wanted to silence you. But see, you got, you already know what the missing piece is. With this big thumbprint. You do, you do. Maybe the evidence is right there. These people could never have the key. So that's why they're learning a lesson. They're being taught a lesson in the worst way. Something is about to be, man, something is deep. Big Leo energy over here at the bottom, too. We got the sun showing up here. Something is deep. Yeah, we got the key. Somebody wanted the key to your destiny, the key to where you're going. Somebody could have even tried to, with that key and where you're going, somebody could even try to steal your car, do something to your car, or somebody act like they could go everywhere you go. Somebody could even have been trying to follow you with this mystery and the key, looking you up. Or, or uh, you know, with this being even next to this, your Uranus energy, somebody could have pretended like they knew where you were going. Pretending like they knew your destiny here. Or that somebody was trying to research this information about you. Yeah, so they could steal from you or something like that. With treasure in reverse, <laughs> a moment of reflection in reverse. Somebody wanted you to not realize that they were stealing from you. That could be for some of y'all. Take it how it resonate. Or you could have known that somebody was stealing from somebody else. <laughs> Take it how it resonate because you you prophesizing over here. You're the high priestess. You knew that either you needed to protect yourself or somebody needed to protect themselves or both of y'all. Or you could know, I don't know why I just got this, that anybody that these people deal with need to protect themselves. These could be demons. Yeah, you could have seen right through a whole group of demons. Child, let's see what's going on. Whew. What's going on, collective? I'm telling you, I am telling you, baby, we still over here with this, with this mystery and this key, baby, we got a hidden agenda. Somebody had a secret plan to impact your destiny, your career, and where you're going. For some of you, somebody literally did not want you to get from point A to point B. That can resonate as many different things. For example, you could be a licensed practicing nurse. 
you could be getting ready to take your state board exam to become a registered nurse. These people could have an agenda to try to set you up or make it seem, include your name in some kind of identity theft issue or something like that so that it could be hard for you to get to the next step. These are people that are trying to affect your next step. Like you could have been in a relationship here with your divine masculine because you warrant somebody here. You warrant somebody here. And you guys could have been on the brink of getting to the next step. But because you had your intuition to protect, because you had your guards up against karmic attachments, karmic energies, this is like somebody had a hidden agenda here to affect where something is going for you. At the end of it, they wanted to make sure that you would not have what was dear to you, whatever whatever this treasure that's in reverse represents to you. Whether that is your actual inheritance, this would have been a plot to take that from you. Your money, a home. This could also be, because this is about where you're going. Your career is definitely a part of this. If you have a business, these are people trying to make sure you don't get to the next level. Somebody, it's like, as soon as, as soon as they realized that you were a high priestess here, you became unforgivable to this institution, to this group of, hit, of hidden karmics, hidden enemies, or a specific karmic attachment they could have flying monkeys. Or this could be a specific person with just a lot of demons inside of them. I don't know why I'm getting that. For some of you guys, this is just one big demonic karmic with multiple demons. Somebody could be walking around with multiple demonic attachments on them. And they sh that's why they showing up as a whole institution by themselves. Take it how it resonates. For some of you guys, it's just a whole clique of them. As soon as you knew that you needed to protect yourself from this group, from this energy, they set off a chain of events. They had a plan here to affect everything. This was to, this was to make sure that nobody would look at them. Okay? With this moment to, what is moment of reflection? Let me hold it up right. This is in reverse. They want, this is like a deflection. This Man, this is a major deflection. They wanted to make sure that nobody would pay attention to what you're saying. Come through. That's why they don't want your story to come out. They do not. Look, we'll keep showing up. Mistaken identity in reverse. There is no mistaken identity, divine feminine. You called out the real, <laughs> the real villain. There's no mistaken identity here. You called out the real villain. Baby, you know exactly who it is. Exactly. Let me tell you one more over there on that intuition to pretend. We're going to switch decks. I'm telling you, you called out the real villain, period. Mistaken identity in reverse. It came out. And I kept putting this card back in. Y'all seen me keep putting that card back into the deck. I kept putting it back in the deck. I was like, oh, that card come out. I'm going to force it to come out multiple times. Yeah. You know exactly who this is. You know who was working on this. You know who was putting work in to go against you. You know who was You know who was trying to run this gambit. It's like somebody needed this big telescope to see the truth about something hidden, but you already had the hidden knowledge. Yeah, you already knew what weapon they were using. You already knew that they were, that they were rivals. Or that they saw you as a rival. But you could be looking at this situation like, baby, like, how you gonna compete where you don't come here? Whoever this villain is, I'm telling you, the clock is running out for this person. The clock is ticking for whoever this villain is. It's running out for this person. People know that this person isn't friendly. People know this person isn't friendly. With friendly creature, injustice. I mean, baby, I done got Libra energy twice already. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, you already knew that. The clock is running out for this person. This person is over with. This person is over with. Child, we about to find out. I'm telling you, like, these people here, oh, they wanted to make sure they stay hidden. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they trying to compete where they don't compare. These people are dark. I'm telling you, as soon as you call this out, as soon as you call this energy out, you telling your story here, these people immediately set a plan in motion. They set a plan in motion because they already knew. They already knew, like, whoa, <laughs> that, that you had the truth. Yeah, look at this. We got inevitable with this, and this is in reverse. <laughs> Somebody tried to stop time. 
They tried to stop time. What did I say? Look at that. We got a distraction in reverse. They tried to, I'm this is like, they can't distract anyone with their lies anymore. Come through. Distraction in reverse. What did I just tell you guys? That this is a whole deflection because you spoke the truth out the gate. Big cancer energy. You got that from earth, from the universe. That truth came into you like a lightning bolt running through your body. It felt so real. You had no doubt that this is the truth. You had no doubt that this is the truth. Come through. Yeah, that somebody didn't want something to survive, longevity in reverse. Damn. Yeah, once you spoke the truth, somebody wanted to make sure you don't survive? What? Or your protection don't survive? Take it how it resonates. Whoa. Yeah, I'm telling you, and they go distraction again. Child, distraction again. Put it back and it come out again. Damn. Yeah, distraction in reverse. People are paying attention now. There's no mistaken identity here. With distraction in reverse, this deflection is not working anymore. Now you got people shook because they're discovering the truth that your highest idea was the truth here. Something hidden and hidden agenda. You spoke the truth about a hidden agenda. You spoke the truth about somebody hiding something. Something came to you in a dream, a vision, a download, how this came in. Man, these people about to learn a lesson in the strangest way. Who we gonna find out what that is? Come through. They don't want you to get your story out. That's what they don't want to get out. Come through, spirit. They don't want you to get your story out. What's this? Yeah, I'm telling you, this is like um, somebody thought they were invisible. They thought they were invisible. Look at that. Whoever this is, we got a Jersey devil here. Somebody could be from Jersey, be from a big city. Somebody could wear a lot of jerseys, uh, be a fan of a lot of sports teams or something like that. That could be significant here, okay? With this, um, because with this invulnerability, with this ghost and endure energy, it's like this person felt like they were untouchable, whoever this is. Yeah, they felt like they were untouchable. Okay, come through, child. Whatever they was doing here, they thought they were untouchable until you spoke the truth. Huh? The fact of the matter is they thought they were untouchable, but we got this sudden illness and something hidden. Somebody went in discovery. Somebody's about to discover that they got an illness. This person that think that they're untouchable, okay, they about to be sick to their stomach when they find out the truth. Who? there could be two things going on here. Somebody could find out here that they have an illness. They're going to discover that. Okay, the reason why they have this illness, because this is the rules. This is the rules. This is a person that was doing a lot of overhand and underhand things. So I don't know how, like, whew, I've never really used that phrase before. But what came to me, like when I say overhand and underhand things, it's like the way this is coming in for me. Somebody was going out of their way to volunteer to like act like they were being there, like they were being there for somebody. But then this person is also doing underhanded things at the same time. Whoever this is, yeah, look at that, baby. We got consumed, okay? We got this chupacabra energy. Somebody was trying to swallow you. Oh, but they found out you were invincible? That's why they got, oh my goodness, hold on. Whew. I already told y'all this was going to be one of those. Who? This a whole thing in itself. Whoa. This is something else. Who? We got an omen. Okay. Okay. This is almost, for some of you divine feminines, your story is so significant here. And these energies, these karmic energies that you have had your intuition has has come up really high in the way like intuitively you know without a doubt because pride is there with it and it came out in cancer energy i mean so it came out straight okay okay like literally straight okay like through god like you could feel it under your feet somebody could need to get their feet on earth Okay, take that how it resonates. Maybe um, like that's coming to me as like 
barefoot on the ground to get grounded. There's information coming in. It is like um, you knew you had to protect yourself from this energy that wanted to consume you. For some of you guys, this could even have been a masculine with this energy on him where it was consuming him and this masculine almost consumed you, this energy. For some of you guys, this could be an energy that this masculine was playing with, okay? Or that it could be attached to him through his family or somebody that he's sleeping with or slept with or these energies that he associate with. There's a violation of rules here. Whoever this is, this, 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 this energy, something is sick here. There's a sudden illness here. And whoever this person is, they're going to discover that. There could even be like a sex addict here. Somebody could be traveling to the Northeast and, and dealing with people who have this energy on them. This, this person felt like they were invincible. Whoever this is, this feels like almost, for some, for some of you, this feels like a masculine energy. Um, this energy, um, whoever this masculine is, whew, let me get into these not so divine masculines real quick. Take it how I resonate for some of you guys where this is a divine masculine and this is an energy that's attached to him. Okay, resonated over there. But for some of you guys, this is actually a not so divine masculine that has a lot of attachments. This masculine wanted to consume you. This masculine wanted to break you into nothing. Okay, literally into a ghost. Uh, this is almost like you're looking in the mirror and you don't see yourself anymore. Okay, whoever this karmic energy is, I don't know why I'm getting. For some of you guys, there is a karmic masculine in your own bloodline that's playing a role here. Okay, or some of you guys could even have been dealing with a straight up warlock. Or there could be a divine masculine who has a friend, uh, uh, another masculine associate that's into this. Okay, with that Sagittarius energy giving me Knight of Wands energy too, giving me high sexual energy as well. Okay, so there could be a sexually transmitted demon here as well. This masculine, you would have not have recognized yourself. There's no way. There's no way. You could have started having thoughts about yourself that you never had before. Um, you didn't recognize yourself when you looked in the mirror. Uh, this is an energy that totally devours you. Okay. Did like this dark attachment energy here, this totally devours you. For it to come out with this ghost energy that says endure, this was something that was like laid on you over a period of time, little by little. You could be so nurturing that you just kept giving up pieces and pieces and pieces of yourself until you um didn't have anything else to give. You that there wasn't a piece left to to give here okay you guys okay y'all make sure that you guys are um hold on let me make sure let's see okay make sure you guys are not blocking anyone for no reason please please um did jessica bees do something wrong here make sure you guys are not blocking because i keep getting um complaints Whoever, if somebody could scroll back up and unblock Jessica B's. I don't know why she's blocked. I just looked at some of her comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, but whoever this energy is, this is somebody who um they want to consume you. Straight up. Straight up. You would have you would have um lost yourself. Y'all mods, please. Um, I really, I really don't like um going looking into the chat while I'm reading. So help me out, please. Or it could disrupt the reading. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. I got to go back to that because I just tapped out of that when I was looking at the chat. I'm going to come back to that, you guys. All right, so let's get into this 12th house energy. What is going on here? Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody wanted to control a commitment. Look at that. Look at that. Control commitment. Somebody wanted to control commitment. You know that. Because we're over here with this 12th house energy. With knowledge in reverse, dream. You had the hidden knowledge that somebody secretly was trying to control how someone commits to you. Come through. Okay. Yeah, you definitely knew that. You know that. So you know somebody was trying to control this. 
Okay, that could have been a large group of people because this 12th house energy talks about institutions, large groups. So now somebody is overwhelmed because what you said is exactly what it is. What you said is exactly what it is, period. Water could be significant here. A lot of watery energy here, a lot of emotions with that dream, moon, water energy, moon magic could be here. Somebody thought they had hidden knowledge about you trying to access your energy here okay child what is going on here yeah they wanted to control commitment you knew this that's for sure with that dream being there i know you knew this you knew somebody wanted to control how people deal with you when i first started this reading and i had to restart the reading um it came out uh like somebody was trying to um uh it was like they um It was, it was almost like this person wanted to do this as like a way to get back, to get back at you, who I almost said back to you. For some of you, there is an ex involved here or somebody, for some of you, there's even somebody you cut off. Yeah, there's a hidden person here. Come through. Look at that. Mystery and a trickster. Okay. And this is coming out with this, um. Ooh, cracking energy, cracking energy. If you, when you think about who the cracking is when it comes to the type of demon that this is, it's um, uh, it, it's um, uh, it's always represented by this octopus energy that just comes out and sucks you down into the water, into the ocean, come through spirit. And we had that um, that consume energy that showed up. This is like somebody thought they could take you down secretly, playing a role in all of this. Yeah, they thought they were secretly playing a role in all of this. You have a hidden trickster here. Yeah, they felt like it was their duty. Damn. Okay, with duty, trickster duty, it's like that's how bad they on you. Come through divine feminine or divine masculine. Flip the roses, it makes sense, you guys. When you spoke the truth, okay, and intuitively, it came to you that you needed to protect yourself from these people, from this energy, or you warned somebody that they need to protect themselves from this energy. It's, it's like um, they felt like it was their duty to bring you down. It was like their duty. It's like somebody's career is to be like your hater your hater that tries to take you down from your career where you're going and your destiny they they felt like they had to control your commitment there's somebody here like man you did this could be a hater that just follow you around for some of you guys you could be dealing with a whole new person and boom this hater pops up out of nowhere damn child let's see what else come through oh yeah now these people are being taught a lesson they had a whole plan, man. This plan go deep. They learning a lesson now. They wanted to stir up a lot of drama by inventing something here. And I was picking up on somebody trying to make energy sick. Like your energy between you and somebody else, they wanted to make the energy sick. Yeah, I'm telling you, look at that. Cruelty. Yeah. And constrain. This constrain card also talks about a shapeshifter. I'm telling you, somebody in this plan is a straight up shapeshifter. All according to plan, lessons in the past, great depths. This plan goes deep. This plan that's against you, Divine Feminine, that somebody launched against you. This could even go all the way back to family ties. Could even be a family curse involved here. There could be multiple devils cut from the same cloth here. This was really cruel what they were doing here. Yeah, you came across a real cruel energy. This is a shapeshifter. Yeah, that constraint, that's straight up shapeshifter. That Rosaka energy, that's a shapeshifter demon. Yeah, diversity here at the bottom. This person tries to blend in with everyone. Yeah, this person, fake. Whoever this energy is, they came up with a straight up plan. Yeah, that went real deep. Somebody refused to learn a lesson a long time ago. That's how they got caught up in this situation. There could be a, a divine masculine caught up in this situation because he refused to look deep. 
Somebody definitely rejected your prophecy here because you got people shook here, Divine Feminine. They can't believe you spoke this truth. It's like you spoke this truth so, you, you, you said it so clear. You said it so clear that it's like, um, they can't believe you had the key to it like this. I'm telling you, it's like you cracked the case on some Sherlock Holmes. With mystery, the key, and hidden agenda, you knew, you knew the whole plan. You knew the whole plan. Somebody didn't expect you to switch up with this Phoenix energy. What did I say? It's almost like they thought they could break you down. It's almost like they thought you could, they could break you all the way down. And all that happened. See, it's not that, you, you know what's crazy with these karmic energies when they do stuff like this? They think when you're like going through an awakening right or when divine beings right because you have to learn your own lessons we all have to learn our lessons chosen ones okay everyone everyone has to learn lessons and it's like um they felt like they had you they felt like they had you like everything was in the fix was in everything was in they didn't really you you started off with intuition to protect they could have never had you because you got the message. You got the message. You got the message. Literally, that came out in my last reading. You know the operation. You've been through the operation. The thing is, there's somebody in this situation that was able to get into your nurturing energy because your grounded energy is here. So it's like something kind of shook you in your grounded energy and you just kept giving. You kept giving. So there's somebody here that you love or still love. So your divine medicine, this could be your divine medicine that you want because you kept giving and giving and giving and you, you're naturally a giver. So what happened is it's like you gave and gave till you couldn't give anymore. So now it's almost to the point where you couldn't recognize yourself. But there is a lesson there for you as well because all it did was, all it did was transform you, baby. I mean, literally. I don't know if they thought you were going to fall into the ashes and just turn to dust. No, you came out the ashes and you rose a phoenix. Okay? I don't know what they thought. Whoever this shapeshifter is, they were playing a real cruel game. Trying to make energy sick. Trying to make your energy in your energy cords. Whoo. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's a whole shapeshifter here. Somebody never believe, would never believe that this person is a shapeshifter. They would never believe that. Yeah, you were, you was a whole phoenix here. Somebody would never believe this is a whole shapeshifter. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody was lying, period. We got companionship and lies. Look at that. Look at that. We got companionship and lies. There could be a divine masculine attached to a, a, somebody that's literally consuming his entire being. Or you were attached to someone here that was a shapeshifter. Allowed people to plot on you behind the scenes. He switched up so much to the point where you didn't understand who he is. Somebody could, and when we talk about this Lampod energy, this type of demon energy, this energy will burn you up. It will burn you up. This is not, you see how it kind of looks like fairies? No, no. These aren't fairies playing harmless tricks or anything like that. No. Somebody here pretended to be, um, this could even be subconscious. That could be um, a divine masculine with a whole curse on him. Or man, like I said, he got a lot of demons on him or something like that because something was consuming here. Something was consuming here. I'm telling you, look at how, okay, I'm telling look at that. I just want to show y'all how this looks. Look at that. I'm, I'm telling you, look. Companionship, lies, trickery, and knowledge. You knew that. You could have known that you had to get out of a situation here because this companionship had so much lies, so much trickery. Somebody could have been gaslighting with knowledge. Somebody had knowledge of trickery and lies when it came to a companionship. And there's a lot of gaslighting here. Something was, th this was very consuming here. Especially if your um, DM was participating in this. Okay? Participating in the gaslighting. Because that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. 
Okay? Who? Yeah. These people got real mad that you spoke the truth. Now there's a whole there's a whole person here like, whoa, I cannot believe that you called it to the T. Now they all looking through this telescope like, damn, you seen so far, Divine Feminine. You seen way ahead. It's almost like for some of you guys, you prophesied something five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, six months ago, three months ago. You seen it coming. Man, like the way this is, like they can't believe you seen this far. They can't believe, like, you got the world shook here. Damn, like, because it's a large institution here. Who? let's see. Yeah, the mystery here, the key is here. My man, somebody about to find out who stole some money. Okay, that's for some of you. Somebody could even be stealing from their job. Like, or using employment to steal or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that. They had a hidden agenda when it came to your career. There could be a thief trying to call you a thief. Somebody's pretending like you was trying to steer up something here. Let's see, what is going on? Somebody's under investigation? Mm, 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 mm. What's going on, baby? What's going on here? Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness. We have this violence energy. This is in reverse. This energy talks about famine. It talks about illness. It talks about poison talks about viruses sudden illnesses here who oh, somebody might catch a virus around here okay for some of you guys somebody literally tried to poison you and you know this look at that a whole omen came out okay you know this with this energy like somebody tried to poison i mean damn you got the key hidden agenda you knew okay come through spirit you knew that somebody wanted to make sure you wouldn't get a lump sum of money, some kind of uh, financial gain here. You also knew that somebody wanted to interfere or this is, um oh, come through for some of you divine feminines. This is like another prophecy that's coming in to you. Another download because the first download here is that you needed to protect yourself. That has already happened. That's already happened. Okay, so for who this reading resonates with, that energy came out first, that's already happened. That's not future energy. That's not. Now this, because we're at the end. Y'all know the way that I read. Okay, y'all know everything far to the right is future for me. Okay, you guys, this right here, you could be starting to get this download now. Or most recently, this download started coming into you. Or if this download already came into you, you got that one first and then you got this one second. Because this is the agenda they came up with after you started telling your story. After you decided to protect yourself. When they found out that you knew what they were, this is when this started coming in. So for some of you guys, the hidden agenda here, because we got hidden agenda, the key, mystery, violence, this talks about poison. Somebody could have actually tried to, who we got the key here, put something in your car to make you sick, put something in your house, mess with your stuff, mess with your clothes, your food, or something like that. They're trying to mess with your energy, plant stuff around your house. Somebody could even want to put something in your house. Okay? This is like somebody could have tried to put something in your house. You could have gotten a gift. From, from some hater here, because there's a shapeshifter here who could have tried to give you a gift, something to put in the house. Somebody could have gifted a divine masculine something. This was something to bring pestilence here. This could have even been something to make the energy sick, or this is something that was trying to make you sick. Whatever this is, this poison, it was to poison your destiny, poison where you're going, and poison your career. Damn. These people are mad. These people are sick. Who? What else? What else, Spirit? I, what I said, somebody was trying to, somebody tried to steal your story. Damn. Come through, Spirit. Look at that. What it say? Theft and story. Who? So you called out these karmic energies and they flipped it and tried to steal your story to make it seem like somebody need to protect themselves from you or that they had a, um, a warning about you. Somebody trying to put what they did to you 
on you. They're trying to flip it because they hate that you have the knowledge. Some, and then what did I tell you guys early on? What did I tell y'all early on? Somebody don't want your story to come out. They're trying to shut you up any way that they can because they don't want your story to come out. Who? And, and not to mention, for some of you guys, there's a whole story about how somebody stole from you. Period. And they don't want that to come out. But this is somebody, and with that theft and story, and we're over here, don't forget, we're over here by your destiny. Your destiny is your story. This is somebody trying to steal your destiny. Okay? We got this Bigfoot energy in reverse. I don't know who this is. Um, damn. See, this is why I can't stand going live with y'all, because y'all start talking through me. Okay? I don't know who this big foot karmic hoe is okay whoever this big foot karmic hoe is this big foot karmic baby there's somebody trying to steal your destiny you do it they do it you do your hair this way they do their hair this way you say you're doing this they say they did this they did it better there's somebody literally trying to steal your story some big foot karmic hoe child what is this I cannot. Could this be a five-headed snake? Because that's what she looking like. Child, what's going on? I cannot. I cannot. Child, what is going on? I can't. I can't. And look at how that just came out. Look at that. The Empress. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Okay, look at that. The Empress is not the Emperor. Big boss energy. See, ooh, come through. There's a whole narcissist involved. Look at that. Look at that. A whole narcissist involved. Okay? I'm talking about this person so narcissistic. Somebody narcissistic from the grave, baby. I'm not going to act like Kevin Samuels ain't on this card. We got a narcissist from the grave. Somebody come from a bloodline of narcissists. They got multiple narcissists in their family, Divine Feminine. Okay, you could even have narcissists in your own family. Narcissists from the grave. Somebody about to have to be a narcissist from the grave. Okay? Child, I'm talking about when you started going into this energy, baby, this big boss energy. See, this is clarifying intuition to protect. See, that's when you woke up, Divine Feminine. That's when you woke up. When you, when you got this intuition to protect with that peacock energy there, you didn't even doubt that. That was when that moment right there for you was, that was it. That's that moment right there. In that moment, you knew, I need to protect myself from you. I don't care if you're my twin flame. I don't care what level of a soulmate you are. I need to protect myself from you. Because you don't want to protect yourself from these karmic energies. Okay? Or you could have been like, I need to protect myself from all of these people that you're associated to. See, when you put your foot down and finally believed in that message, right? Believed in that message. Okay, that's when you started going into this. See, that's when, see, that's when that Phoenix energy started coming up for you, Divine Feminine. That's when your transformation started coming in for you. When you finally accepted this truth right here. It was hard to accept this truth because whoever this person is, this divine masculine is. This could be a masculine who either lost his status as a divine masculine or man, he's on path to lose it because he has not rejected these energies yet. But he going to know the truth because right after this, baby, somebody going to finally discover it. This person thought they were invisible. Yeah, look at that. A narcissistic, diabolical queen of swords. Everything that come out of her mouth is a lie. She's cold blooded. She's ruthless. She got flying monkeys, people running around doing her bidding. These are people trying to make sure that your story don't come out. They don't want anyone to know the truth about what they did to you. Look 
look at that. Social media famous in reverse. What I said, they don't want your story to come out. They could even be attacking your social media pages. They're attacking how this information can be socialized, come through spirit. They don't want it to come out. But baby, you ain't God's favor. You got God's favor, chosen one. So they can't stop the truth from coming out. They can't. How they, how they gonna stop the truth from coming out, baby? Because if anything, I'm gonna put it out. <laughs> Child, what's going on? Come through, spirit. What else? What else? They got mad. They got mad. Yeah, I'm telling you, for some of you guys, there's a whole masculine man praying for your downfall. Who is this masculine? Oh, that hurt to even see him come out like that. Emperor energy came out distorted sideways. Aries energy, that's why, oh, that's why, look at that. The Empress is now the Emperor, big boss energy. And now we got an Emperor coming out, praying for your downfall? Bullets on the way? What? Damn. Who? that hurt. Mmm, that hurt so bad. When that Emperor hit the table, y'all don't even know. Like, when I tell you my stomach dropped, it dropped. Divine Feminine, you stepping into this power hurts so much. It hurts so much because you had to realize that either this masculine was praying for your downfall and sending aggressive energy to you, or that this masculine was attached to people that was doing this and this masculine refused to see how much of a goofball he is. How dumb he was being. So you had to protect yourself. Could have denied the truth. Could have even caught an attitude with you for speaking the truth. Oh, that hurt. It just hurts because it's like, um, I feel like you believe this masculine. I feel like you believed this masculine and supported him in situations where you didn't even have, you didn't even have all the receipts on the situation. Like you could have supported this masculine um, in, in situations where it like all you had was his word. That's all you had was like his word. And for this masculine to not support you in this situation, man, that hurts because these people were coming in with real aggressive energy. I mean, they came in with bullets on the way. These were direct attacks that this masculine was sitting here acting like he didn't see. And for some of you guys, man, you were warning this masculine. You were warning this masculine for some of you about somebody praying for his downfall. Man, you could have been warning this masculine about somebody trying to take him out. You could have been warning him about that. Somebody trying to take him out. Somebody's coming at him this way or somebody's coming at you this way to get you out the way so they could do what they wanted to do with him. Take it how it resonate. They're praying for your downfall. For some of you guys, this is your own masculine was praying for your downfall or this masculine was attached to people praying for the downfall between both of you. And let me give it to y'all this way here too, because it's coming in several ways. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, this masculine needed to step up because this is a power couple. Holy, the emperor is now the emperor, big boss energy and an emperor energy coming in too, baby. B, when I tell you, and the masculine showed up on the right foot. See, not the, not the big foot. Okay, I know why uh, Nicki Minaj big foot song <laughs> coming through. Like, get up on your good foot. This masculine refused to get up on his good foot. Okay? To get up on his good foot. This could have been a power couple. See, that could have been why you kept giving like you kept giving because see, that's what you were picking up on. You were picking up on that 5D energy. Okay. That's what you was picking up on. You was picking up on that 5D energy intuition to protect. You could have known that somebody wanted to destroy this energy between you and this masculine because they already seen this. Look at that energy. 
Emperor, Emperor is not an Emperor Big Boss energy. Emperor energy, yeah. Somebody wanted to make sure this whole situation fell. <laughs> With bullets on the way, praying for your downfall. Baby, this is a passive aggressive energy. This is aggressive aggressive. Nothing is passive. Straight at you, direct shots. This is the ops. Arguments, fights, and war. Somebody wanted to make sure there are even beauty spells written on this praying for your downfall. They wanted to make sure they took aggressive action against you, against this energy, or you knew somebody was taking aggressive action against this masculine, and this all started because you knew to protect yourself. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. You knew. Yeah, that's what this could have been. That's what this could have been. It could have been so much more. <laughs> this man said you wanna get up on his good foot. <laughs> now I can't now I can't even get the song out of my head. Like, whoo, somebody mama is a liar. I don't know why that's coming to me. You know, at the end of the song, it talks about lying on your dead mama. Somebody stays swearing to God. They swear. They swear on their dead relatives. They swear on themselves. They swear on their life. I'm telling you, this is like somebody swearing on dead people and they still lying. This is an absolute liar. You can't trust nothing coming out of this person's mouth because that's all they do. They just lie. Even on their dead relatives, even on their own mama, they lie. Or somebody's mama is a straight up liar. Okay, or there's an older feminine energy here that's a straight up liar. You knew the things about somebody was lying about. Oh my goodness, why is, why? Okay, of all the songs, <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> Who? let me have a conversation with Spirit right now. Of all the songs for me to be channeling, why am I channeling a diss track? Bigfoot, really? All right, let's get into it. Ho, the things that you've lied about, even pertaining to your mama. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, Divine Feminine. Whoa, you knew the lies. <laughs> you knew the lies. <laughs> you knew the lies. The things that, the, this is like something, man, Divine Feminine, you know this person straight up and down. It's like, oh, the things you've been lying about. Even pertaining to your mama, your kids, this man, this money, your career, where you been, what you been doing, this spell work, hell, the things you been lying about, always coming out. Man, I'm channeling that song. <laughs> That's so crazy. Now people are discovering that you was telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, now they discovering that you was telling the truth. They was acting like you was crazy. They was acting like you didn't know. Look at this. They want to take everything but stuck with crumbs. Now we're over here clarifying this invincible energy. Somebody thought they were invulnerable. Whoever this person is, I'm telling you, this somebody who they never thought that they would be left with crumbs. Somebody never thought they would be left with crumbs because they wanted you to have crumbs. They wanted you to be a crumb. They wanted to turn a divine feminine to a peon. Baby, you could never. See, you could never. They tried to consume you to turn you into a crumb. See, now these people, right, who thought they were invulnerable, right? This karmic energy, this karmic masculine, these karmic attachments, thought that they were so invulnerable. What they finding out? See, they finding out that they got a sudden illness, Whatever they finding out, man, it's making them sick to their stomach. Whatever they finding out. See, they finding out they're not invincible. That's what they're finding out. Some of them are finding out that they're sick. Some of them are finding out that the truth is coming and that they've consumed themselves and that they're not invincible. Yeah, they thought that they could endure anything. They thought that they could endure anything, so they tried anything. These are people who thought that you would have crumbs. Now they got crumbs. See, this crumb energy backfired on them. Somebody's a crumb. They wanted to treat you like a crumb. See, you over here, see, you make your own magic. You reach all your goals. See, they could never stop you. They, they work so hard to try to stop you from getting your story out. So this is almost like divine feminine. Somehow they, they so mad that you could see right through them. See, that's the problem. The problem is you could see right through this Bigfoot karmic. 
Oh, I might title this video that. This Bigfoot Karmic. They so mad that you could see right through them. See, you had the knowledge of all the lies and the trickery. You had the knowledge. Somebody thought they could blind you. They got so mad, they decided that, oh, if they try to put famine and pestilence, okay? They even tried to manifest pest in your home. They want your home to have flies, roaches, gnats, bugs coming out of nowhere. They want all these pets. They tried to mask you with this energy so they could steal your story. Somebody want to take your story and manipulate it. For some of you divine feminists, there's somebody you could have shared uh, something, uh, uh, information that's very uh, dear to you. Okay. Information that, that's like very, usually you keep close to the chest or something like that. There's somebody out here pretending to have your story. You could have survived something here. I don't know, like, who is this fake person here? I don't know who this is. This a wannabe you, Divine Feminine? Somebody is out here literally running around with your story. Okay? Saying that they that you did this to them or something like that. Or that or that the way they achieved something. For some of you, Divine Feminines, you could have talked about how you achieved something and somebody's running around acting like that's how they achieved something. This, this Somebody's literally here stealing your story here. And there's definitely beauty spells. Okay, here. Child, what's going on? Oh, what else? Come through, spirit. What else is going on here? I'm telling you, you still look how that just flew out. Look at that. I see you. I see you. I see everything. God's plan. See, it was clear to you. God revealed the plan. God revealed the plan. Period. God revealed exactly what the plan is. Yeah, look at this. We have a karmic sitting around hating on a spiritual union. This karmic is a hidden hole. They big mad and about to explode. Whoever this is, for some of you divine families, you could have gotten into a union. And man, I'm talking about right out the gate. This hidden hole here. Man, that's why that, that's why that, um, that's why I channeled the end of that song with oh, the things that you have lied about, baby. Cry me a river. Tears running down this hidden hole. I eyeballs right now. The things you've been lying about, even pertaining to your mama, this money, this union, your kids, all of it. Your spiritual gifts, all of that. Everything they've been lying about, baby, is being exposed. Yeah, I'm telling you, this hidden hole is a sneaky link. Look at that. I'm talking about she's so sneaky. She's so sneaky, baby. But you Bigfoot. You Bigfoot, that's how we know you left that big old footprint. We could smell you coming. Yeah, because you a whole rodent. Somebody is greedy, money hungry, money hungry, consuming. Okay, there could have been a masculine that's so greedy tried to consume you. Somebody could have even tried to play you. For some of you divine feminists, take it how it resonates. A masculine could have even tried to play you in a third party situation with a hidden hoe, with a Bigfoot karmic. Take it how it resonates. Okay, for some of you guys, this third party, this third party is a karmic in his family. Child, let's see. What is going on? What else? I'm telling you, it's like they out here committing crimes. This is this is like, man, huh, look at that. We got chosen sideways. This the wanna be you. Body shaming in reverse. This is like somebody who felt like if they could cloak themselves in your energy that they would be chosen. This hidden whole energy. When I said these chicks out here committing crimes, violating all types of rules. Violating all types of rules. They thought they were invincible here. They thought that they were invincible here. They could be scammers. Credit card fraud. People putting stuff in people's names. All that. These people could even make these accusations against you. Somebody thought that nobody would discover this. There could, there's a karmic feminine here who's crying because they found out that she's a hoe. Because we got this karmic is sitting around hating on a spiritual union. This karmic is a hidden hoe. We also got sneaky link. Somebody's out here mad because it's been discovered that this person is a, yeah, a Jezebel. I don't know how else to say it. 
okay? You could have called that out too. Or you could have called out that somebody was being sneaky doing things behind the scenes, okay? Whew. Let's see, what else is going on here? Baby, we got hidden tendencies. You had hidden knowledge. You had healing knowledge. Hit, I said healing knowledge. I was trying to say hidden knowledge. You got healing knowledge. You know how to heal yourself. Come through spirit. You know how to heal, period. Oh, they thought they could bring you down. Huh. So now it's a whole institution, a whole group of people is overwhelmed, trying to, they were trying to control a commitment here. Yeah, you had, you could have had a dream here or something like that. Yeah, something is being, something's public now. Somebody's dirty, so, oh, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Somebody's dirty laundry is being made public. Oh, whoever this karmic energy is, you a celebrity now. You're a celebrity now because see all your dirt is out. See, we all know you dirty. See, Devon Finney, you knew this person was dirty. Period. You knew they was up to no good. They could not stand that. They could not stand that. I'm telling you, you had the book of secrets. You knew. You had all this secret knowledge. We're still over here with knowledge over here. Your faith. These people was doing spells trying to get up in your business. Light bulb here. They don't understand how you had the hidden knowledge that they were dirty. Whoever this is, what they say? Yuck mouth? Now we got a yuck mouth karmic? Damn, one of these karmics could suffer from halitosis or something like that? What's that? Damn, the card literally says bad breath. What kind of card is this? I never noticed that. Somebody house is nasty? What is this? Whoa. I didn't even notice that. Like, what? <laughs> Damn. Take it how it resonates. Somebody's breath might be stained for real. Shoot. I don't know. <laughs> oh, let's see. What's going on? What's going on? You had the, somebody wanted to know how you had the hidden knowledge that they're dirty. And this is how you knew. Come through spirit. And this is how you know. Somebody thought they were supreme over you. They didn't know that you come from a bloodline of supreme beings. Master number 33. Who we? They didn't know. Of course, that's how you knew. That's how you knew this person was dirty. That's how you knew that somebody was trying to consume you. That's how you knew that their energy was dirty. That's how you know that. Because look at you. You came out as a supreme being. What I said in the beginning of the reading, you a whole high priestess. Child, what's going on? You like even, but like some of you guys like, we got high priestesses that's going through this. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. We have high priestesses that's going through this. And then we even have earth angels that's getting this. And earth angels, I don't know why I'm picking up. If you know you're an earth angel, you need to get your feet planted on the ground, on the soil. Okay? I don't care if you need to buy some soil and put your feet stand up on top of it or something it's like you need to get planted on the ground here okay it's like you got information shooting up inside of you from the earth here who yeah they didn't they trying to figure out how you knew yeah baby you cooler than a cooler they can't take you they can't take you yeah because look at this whatever death coughing energy they thought you was fragile they thought you was fragile they could not break you they could not break you, period. Whatever this confident energy, definitely giving me Scorpio energy. Yeah, look at that. I'm t it's like divine feminine, you spoke the truth and, and all these Michael Meyer karmic energies came out. Some of them straight up trying to like slay you. Literally, definitely slander. Some of y'all could wanna sue these people. These people got so mad from the moment you spoke the truth about you needing to protect yourself from these people or somebody else need to protect themselves from these people. Or once these people found out that you know who they are, or like I said, this could be one big karmic energy, one big foot karmic with multiple demons in her. And she's showing up as an institution of karmics. Because she could be the whole crack in here. And y'all know the cracking is huge. 
So this person thought they were invincible. Oh, come through spirit because they always are able to take people down. They always have been able to take people down. They've always been able to get their way. They've always been able to get people to believe what they say to believe. And they thought they were invincible. Yeah, but see, you stayed cooler than a cooler while they were sending this death energy your way. You was in the midst of going through a transformation. Yeah, they thought that they had you. They never had you. They never had you. Don't underestimate this hater. They are dedicated to get you. Slander you. Lying. They can't hide the hate. Hidden tendencies. You knew somebody was a hidden hater. A hidden enemy. Yeah, come through. Child, we ain't even get to the tarot yet. How we ain't get to the tarot yet? We oh my god, how much time is on the clock? Oh goodness, I knew I already, I already knew how this reading was gonna go. I'm telling you, I am telling you. Look at that. Toy evil soldiers. Look at that. They were coming. They were coming for you. This demon is ready to collect. They wanted to consume you. For some of you divine um feminines. I almost said divine masculines. For some of you, there are divine masculines that's getting consumed by these demons. Who? Because they won't cut these karmic energies. For some of you divine feminines, it's like, especially that toy evil soldiers. Look at this, toy evil soldiers. And then we got messing with a cat that they don't understand. So they didn't understand you. How they gonna understand this? How they gonna understand this? What, what what is a toy evil soldier going to do to this? What like what? What you gonna do to this? You can't do nothing. They can't they can't do nothing when it comes to you. They can't do nothing. That's why they so mad. That's why they so mad. Yeah, they never thought that it would go this way. They never thought it would go this way. Somebody burning in the sunlight with that big sun energy, Leo energy showing over there. They burning in the sunlight watching you. Watching you. Watching your every move. These are like people that I'm like, these people watching your every move. For some of you divine feminine, somebody straight up stalking you. I was picking up on somebody trying to follow you around. Huh. Child. They could never, what, didn't I say well, they can't do nothing to you? Come through spirit. Look at that. What's a goon to a goblin? What's a goon to a goblin? They could have never came for you. They could have never came for you. Not the dumbest criminal ever. Yeah, they could have never came for you. Child, we need to get into the tarot. Oh my God, we're 83 minutes in. This is crazy. This is crazy. I already knew this reading was going to be crazy. I had, I had to take several deep breaths coming into it. Baby, we got paranoid about what people are saying. This is in reverse. Oh. And now we're over here by stir up a situation by, oh, divine feminine, they thought. So this stirring up a situation by, and we got this shapeshifter with this cruelty energy. Companionship, lies, trickery, and knowledge, all according to plan, great depths, and the lessons from the past. So this is almost like they felt like they could keep you paranoid. They felt like they could keep you on a defense. Somebody wanted you to obsess with what they think about you, but with paranoid about what people are saying, this feels like you didn't care what they, what these people had to say about you. Oh, that pissed them off, Divine Feminine, because you didn't care about what these people had to say about you. You knew they were liars. You knew they were tricksters. You knew they were shapeshifters. You knew they were cruel. So why would you give a F about what these people think about you? They don't like make it make sense. Okay, we got to see the unseen. I don't know why they, like, how for some reason when I seen this, it's like what came to me was that they would never come to your face and say this. They would never bring this to your face. Ever. Child, what's going on? Because this, this look like you, you don't even care about these people's opinion about you. You're going to get your story out regardless. Your truth is your truth. And the truth is these people can't be trusted. That's the truth. Yeah, yeah, that's the truth. 
See, you were never paranoid about what these people said because you were always covered under God, right? With Psalms 91 verse four and five, you are always covered under God and God is protecting your Akashic records. With Akashic records in reverse, they were never able to get in that. We got smart in reverse. They're dumb, what I told you. They dumb as hell. Somebody feel like they know your business. They think they got receipts. They think they got the truth, but do they really? Do they even think? Who? Somebody don't even, they can't even think. It's like you spot the truth so good here that these people lost their damn mind. They lost their mind. They came up with some kind of plan here. Child, what's going on? Yeah, to try to get control over a situation. Huh. With Obey in reverse, they could never control this situation. Saying the strangest things about you come through spirit. Yeah, because you exposed this devil. Big Capricorn energy. Yeah, and somebody got your, they had your name all up in their mouth. I'm telling you, it's like once these people knew you seen right through them, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. It was a wrap. <laughs> Look at that. We got hangman energy, big Pisces, stranger danger in reverse. Who? These ain't no strangers that's dangerous. You know exactly what's going on here. Period. I'm going to take one more. Okay? I'm telling you. Huh. Okay? Do you want to eat these people food? I'm telling you, Divine Fender, you don't trust these people. Because you knew they were criminals. You knew they were criminals. Child, let's get into the tarot. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way we 86 minutes in. <laughs> and not one tarot card on the table. Oh, my God. Child, let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into it. Baby. We're going to see what was going on here. Yeah, these people trying to figure it out now. They're trying. They're, they're, I mean, they're like big kids right now. With the Page of Cups in reverse, Two of Pentacles, they going back and forth. They don't know what to do. They having all type of emotional eruptions right now. Golly, they having meltdowns right now. Some of they thought they were invincible. Oh, this person thought they were invincible. I can't wait to clarify that. Because baby, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Mods, for getting the trolls out. Because baby, they don't want the story to come out. Okay, we got seven of cups in reverse. Clarifying intuition to protect. There's no confusion here about you being an empress. Okay. Taurus Libra energy about your confidence. There's no confusion here about your value. See, you've healed with nine of swords in reverse. Somebody went in, like was playing a lot of mind games with you. For some of you divine feminists, it's like somebody wanted to make sure that you don't know who you are. Okay, they wanted you to be confused, yet to not know who you are. With Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this somebody who was lazy, they didn't want to put in enough work. They wanted to keep coming towards you with small offerings or something like that. Somebody didn't want to be solid for some of you. Yeah, and this is also giving me too, it's like you woke up from something here. Especially with mistaken identity, you woke up from something here. Yeah, some, some whatever it is, could even be like a glamour spell. Whatever this is, it did not last long. Baby, Queen of Cups coming up, up right for you. That's your intuition. Okay, conquer it. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. Your intuition told you you were not, this was not equal. This was not equal give and take. Period. With Six of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups here, intuition to protect. Something wasn't equal. Something wasn't balanced here. Something had you waiting for too long. You could have started looking at the situation. Look at how this person is looking at everything here. And you're like, damn, I invested this. I invested that. I invested that. This, that, that, that. When is something going to grow? When is something going to grow out of this? And then you realize you had to grow. You had to grow. Come through spirit. That's what it is. You had to grow. You had to protect yourself. Who? Somebody thought they were invisible, invincible. They thought they were going to consume you. Somebody didn't want to see something. They didn't want to see the truth. Now they see they sick. Yeah, now they see they sick. See, it's, it's clear now. We got the sun in reverse, not a pinnacles in reverse. Somebody is so unhappy that they're depending on someone now. There could be a masculine that's so unhappy that he's depending on someone now. This masculine wants to free himself 
Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Slim. Oh, uh, no, I don't do readings on live stream. Sorry, sorry. Thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, big Leo energy. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There's a masculine who found out he's been consumed. He's discovered that. Now he's dependent on something. And for some of you guys, this is what somebody wanted for you. They're so unhappy with this sun energy in reverse. Somebody hates that they're not free. Damn. They're sick of where they are. This is like somebody is sick of where they are. They're being eaten alive here. They, they, it's like they're enduring so much here. Somebody who thought that they were invincible is being eaten alive. This person thought that they could play with you and nothing would happen to them. Something reversed here. Thank you. Thank you, Bunny Taylor. Thank you for the super chat. We got eight of wands in reverse. Something backfired here. This binding energy come through spirit. Yeah, they're so unhappy now. Ten of cups in reverse. Damn, ten of cups in reverse and the sun is in reverse. Who? I want to say somebody discovered they done fucked up now. Damn. Somebody messed up. They thought they were invincible to whatever they was playing with here. Something backfired. Oh, with that sun energy, Leo energy also talks about loyalty. There is a masculine could have been loyal to a demon that was consuming him. And now he's unhappy. Somebody's very unhappy about what, how they, they took away. It's like they got rid of their own independence here by allowing themselves to get consumed by this energy. And whoever this is in this consuming energy that's doing the consuming, this person who thinks they're invincible, they're going to find out they're sick. That's what they're going to find out. Come through. Ten of cups in reverse. Something could have backfired on a whole family. They be when I tell you they done lost it all. They done lost it all. These, man, they are done. Period. Okay. Ace of Swords. Baby, ain't nothing but the truth. Ain't nothing but the truth. The truth is these people are sick to their stomach because it backfired. They so sick because the truth is out. The truth is out. They're so sick because of it. Because the truth is out. It got them sick. Four of Wands in reverse. Baby, they have no stability. I'm telling you, for some of you guys, this a whole fake karmic twin flame. This could even be your twin flame that just didn't wake up yet. Gemini energy with the lovers. Four of Wands in reverse. There is, for some of you guys, there is a contract that you walked away from and whoever this masculine is, I'm talking about, immediately karma kicked in. Immediately he started to see something was hidden. He started discovering things, even discovered an illness or discovered that whoever these people here that's committing crimes is making him sick to his stomach or something like that. That love is in reverse, four wines in reverse. When a relationship broke, all hell broke loose. Come through, spirit. Yeah. Oh, you had the knowledge. High priestess energy, you had the hidden knowledge. This is why these people are so mad at you. Because you had the hidden knowledge. You could know why somebody lost their home. Or you could know what happened with a home. You could know about somebody trying to steal your stability. Somebody put a house in somebody's name. Somebody, reef, somebody could even... Trick somebody to refinance a home here with these chicks committing crime scam artists in the four ones in reverse. Somebody trick somebody into refinancing a home to get a lump sum of money or something like that. Damn. Whew. Somebody's in a bind. Whew. You knew that somebody was going to have somebody in a bind. You warned them. And now somebody, I'm telling you, they shook now because it's like, whoa, you knew, you knew all the dirty tricks these people were playing. You knew all the dirty tricks they were doing. And you knew everything about this karmic Bigfoot, this karmic cracking energy. You knew about it. Yeah. And they got so mad. What's going on here? The higher font. Now, I'll be damned. Big Taurus energy that the higher font would come out to clarify the 12th house. When we're talking about hidden tendencies 
and a large institution. And here's the Hierophant. Oh, big Taurus energy. Now, the Hierophant is a card that I usually love, okay? And a part of me still loves this card in this position where it is right now because I do have dream and knowledge in reverse here. Somebody didn't know that you have knowledge in the 3D and in the 5D. But another thing that I'm getting here is there is like a, a cult, a religious group, an institution. Hierophant also talks about institutions. There could be a contract here. We got control commitment. Somebody is being consumed by a contract. Somebody wanted to consume you in a contract. I don't know why. I almost said somebody wanted to kill you in a contract. Why did I want to say something like that? Or somebody wanted to consume you because of a contract. Something's dirty about an institution here, man. There's a dirty institution here. A dirty group of individuals here. Man. Oh, King of Cups. Somebody trying to control their emotions here. There could be a King of Cups waking up to this. Come through. Whew. Let's see what is going on here. Whew. The Hierophant. The cracking Mystery. There's some kind of secret control going on with an institution they dirty what's going on come through spirit huh. hangman in reverse there's a somebody could be brainwashed here damn with the higher font hangman in reverse and this mystery energy commitment and control somebody's brainwashing people here what's going on we got a, a king of wands in reverse a karmic masculine a karmic masculine is brainwashing a divine masculine. He's consuming him. What? Or there's a karmic masculine who's brainwashed? This feels like a karmic masculine is trying to brainwash another man. Somebody's trying to brainwash somebody here. You knew that these people were dirty? <sighs> Whew, what's going on? What's going on? Hangman in reverse. Big Pisces energy. Taurus Pisces energy is here. What's going on? Nine of Cups. It's okay. It's like um, I got Nine of Cups and I got this Five of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Somebody, there is an institution or a group of people. This is a group of karmic energy because they came out as the Kraken. Don't get it twisted, okay? The Kraken takes down entire ships. Okay, first of all, the, whoever this masculine is, he don't even realize what type of energy he got himself caught up with, caught up in. Because see, when this energy goes down, the whole shit comes down with it. The way that they're able to control somebody's commitment or like their dreams is it's like they give, they oh, they breadcrumb them. With little wish fulfillments. Whoa, come through spirit. That's how they keep something at peace. Wow, look at that. Five of Wands in reverse talks about peace. Then we got the Four of Cups talks about missing an opportunity. That it's like, I'm telling you, whoever this group is or whoever this karmic masculine is. That could be in another masculine's ear or something like that. It's like they keep the peace by giving them something they want or like manipulating a wish fulfillment or making something look like a wish fulfillment here. There's master manipulators here. Don't forget, there's a whole narcissist here. But see, being cool, thank you, thank you, thank you. Being cool with these people makes this person miss opportunities straight up. Thank you so much, Jessica. They're straight up. Appreciate all of it. Straight up. Whoever this masculine is, he can't even get into this King of Pentacles upright energy. This masculine is supposed to be in this King of Pentacles energy. He can't get into this King of Pentacles energy for as long as this masculine continues to just make peace. And when I say make peace, I mean he's totally intertwined. Because we're talking about the cracking. We're talking about consume energy. 
For as long as he's attached to these people, he continues to miss out on blessings. Whoever this masculine is, he didn't even see that God was handing him a blessing. He didn't even see it. Hey, man, in reverse, he didn't even see it. He didn't even see it. I'm telling you, this masculine blocked his own, his own status. His ability to be in this king of pentacles status, seven of wands, he blocked it. He blocked himself. Who come through from getting up on his good foot? Damn. Come through, spirit. Child, I cannot. Yeah, and these people thought they were going to control a whole situation, man. Whoa. Yeah. Once you spot the truth about these people, these people devised some kind of plan here, and they went deep with it. They went so deep with it. Somebody shouldn't even trust somebody food here. Who? They so cruel. This shapeshifter is so cruel. What's this plan, spirit? What's this plan? Come through, Holy Spirit. Huh, what was this plan to lay you to rest? To get a, a masculine to lay you to rest. There's multiple masculines here. I already got the emperor here. We got the, the uh, king of wands in reverse here. We got the king of pentacles here. Now we got the emperor again here. Four of wands. For some of you guys, this plan that they came up with was to get a masculine to lay you to rest. To get somebody to pull back from you. Who? Oh, the plan was that for somebody to tell this masculine that he needed to heal from you or something like that? Child, what is this? Four of Swords. There was a plan to, to put something down here. These people tried to invent a way to put you down. The Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, and try to put you down, you in this nurturing energy. For some of you, these are people that you could have given money to. What is going on? Yeah, they wanted you to be drunk. I'm telling you, they wanted you to be out of here. Four of swords, two of pentacles in reverse, and now we got the nine of wands in reverse. They wanted you to be done with. Nine of wands in reverse talks about surrendering. It talks about giving up. None of wands in reverse talks about losing the fight. See, they didn't know that you had God here with Psalms 91 here. They didn't know? Huh. You're, you're covered with the feathers and under the wings you will find refuge. Faithfulness will be your shield. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by. You're not worried about none of these arrows they shooting. Because, see, they could have never laid you to rest. See, they should have learned this lesson a long time ago. So now they had to learn it again. Who? But they learning it in a big way. They're being made an example of. Who? Big Uranus energy. Because they wanted you to be dropped with the two of pentacles in reverse here. Now these people are getting dropped. These plans backfired. Who? They're so mad. Nine of wands in reverse. There's a masculine who surrendered to these people, wants to come in with an apology, page of cups. Somebody was being so cruel to you. That was part of the plan. Damn, cruelty. Cruelty and companionship. Who? <sighs> I really, really, really don't like this masculine. This is the second time in this reading where I feel hurt by this masculine. Okay? So, for me to feel that, when I start picking up energy like that, I know somebody hurt y'all. Because with all according to plan, trickery, knowledge, and lies, companionship, cruelty, you could feel like your own masculine was a shapeshifter. You could feel like he switched on you in totality. You could feel like he was a part of the plan to go after you. Because cruelty is a part of the plan. Either this masculine was a part of this plan to be cruel towards you, or there was a lot of trickery, take it how it resonates, involved. And this masculine was cruel to you. 
I'm getting cruelty here. So there, there is something cruel about this masculine's behavior. There's something cruel here. But for, it, it feels direct though. It feels direct. This with that nine of wands in reverse here, it's like this masculine surrendered to these people. Surrendered to the lies. Surrendered to the trickery. Surrendered to this trickery knowledge. Surrendered to this shapeshifter. Cruelty. Somebody was inventing a way. Come through spirit with invent a way. Your rainous energy. Cruelty. We got this shapeshifter energy. Somebody was inventing a way to bring cruelty to you. And that all of this because they're mad that you've seen right through them. Because you had the intuition to protect yourself. Because you spoke the truth. Because you spoke your story. Nine of Wands in reverse. These people had to give up. Somebody has to give up here. Oh, they so mad. They got so mad. Damn, they got so mad and jealous. They got so mad and jealous. Don't forget, what's up underneath? See, there's not a wands in reverse. See, you could have never surrendered to this energy. Because look at what's at the bottom of this. We got you here as this supreme being. You would have never surrendered to this energy. Oh, somebody thought you was, was I don't want to call this masculine weak. But in this moment, this masculine definitely was weak. They thought that you would be as weak as this masculine. Or somebody thought you would be as weak as somebody else. This person is jealous because somebody's jealous because you didn't fold. They're so mad. They're so mad they thought you folded. They're so jealous. Knight of Cups in reverse. Look how mad they are. Knight of Swords in reverse. This person became belligerent when they realized that they didn't break you. When they realize that, look at that with paranoid about what people are saying in reverse. You're not worried about what these people got to say about you because you know who you are. Come through with the peacock energy. Your confidence is on 10. You know who you are. Seven of Cups in reverse and the Empress, you know who you are. Nine of Swords in reverse, you healed. You know who you are. You know what you deserve. They got so mad. They became belligerent. They cursing. They out of control how belligerent these people got. Five of Swords, yeah, they decided they wanted to take action now. They're, these are people who could have literally tried to attack you, Divine Feminine. With that Five of Swords and that Ace of Wands. And for some reason, damn, I'm getting like an attack through a phallus? What is that? Five of Swords and the Ace of Wands? Masculine could have. If this masculine is not engaging in this type of trickery himself, somebody put some kind of energy on this masculine. There's something, something's wrong with his phallus here. What is this? It's like somebody thought they were going to defeat you with some kind of sex act. This is, this is sick. This is, this is actually kind of violent, y'all. I don't even want to talk about it. Like, y'all, I'm trying to give y'all, like, hints about it. I don't even want to talk about that on my channel. But, like, we got a phallus being you. Like, we got the ace of wands and the five of swords. And, you know, like, I'm, I'm picking up, like, some sick we have cruelty here. Lies, trickery, knowledge, companionship. Whew, let me just say, for some of you, somebody could have said that um, you lied um, about a um, assault, um, about something you experienced. Um, for some of you guys, somebody literally had a plan for you to relive some kind of traumatic event okay take it how it resonates for some of you guys there's a masculine here who used his um some kind of sexual energy as a weapon he could have been doing sex magic so you had to stop sleeping with this masculine to free yourself from this situation take it how it resonates y'all that energy man it says great depths the energy is deep they get in karma they get in karma thank you thank you 
Big justice energy. Libra energy is here. Again, karma. Yeah, you healed from this. Yeah, now they're burdened. Look at that. Big judgment is here. Yo, you healed from this. Whatever they thought, you manifested your healing. You man, they thought that you would be stuck behind burdens or something like that. Yes, yes, Jennifer. Spiritual R word. They could have been. That's why I'm thinking. I'm glad that you put. I was trying to say it without saying it. Okay. We got the magician here. We got ten of swords. We got ten of wands. Somebody wanted it to be so hard for you to heal. They wanted it to be so hard. That's like somebody wanted you to relive some kind of thank you, thank you, thank you, Jackie. They wanted you to um relive some kind of hurt, some kind of pain. Take it as it resonates, okay? It'll resonate for everyone differently. It's like they were manifesting for it to be so hard, ten of wands, ten of swords, for you to heal. They did not want you to heal at all. Literally. Judgment is on these people. Yeah, because of what they did. Because of these diabolical plans. Two of Wands talks about plans. They made a choice using their own free will to do this towards you. Three of Swords, they wanted you broken. Oh, they wanted you so... That's why they wanted it to be so hard for you. And that's why they wanted you to relive some kind of trauma. They wanted you to relive your most painful moments, okay? Take it how it resonates, whatever that means to you, your most painful moments. Damn, somebody could have even weaponized your pain against you. Something you even went through, they could have tried to weaponize your pain against you. Didn't I say earlier in the reading, you opened up to somebody here? Somebody here, a shapeshifter, knows about something that hurt you really bad. Whether that was a separation, whether that was some kind of betrayal, whether that was some kind of physical attack, whatever it is, they knew that. And this shapeshifter, whoever this is, somebody gave up some information or these are people who was reading into your energy or something like that. There could be a mutual here somewhere. Judgment is on these people for the pain that they tried to bring upon you. They wanted to make it so that somebody didn't want your heart to work again. Scorpio Sagittarius energy on the judgment. God said he will restore your heart. Judgment also talks about bringing back. It's almost like God is bringing you back. It's, God is bringing your heart back. Your heart is not going to go on with these three swords in it. It's like your heart is being brought back here. See, what they really tried to wake up was this pain inside of you. God said, no, I'm calling judgment on this. You're not getting into this three of swords energy. God said, no, period. Nothing they did will work. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Nothing they did will work at all. Who? Let's get into this theft and story. They don't want your story to come out. They don't want your story to come out. Try to steal your career from you, steal your destiny from you, steal where you're going. Somebody with that violence energy, violence talks about poison. Poison your treasure, your abundance. There's a mystery here. There's a hidden agenda. The key is here. You already called this. Somebody went to somebody to get information and this person is a damn liar. Somebody believes everything this liar says. This Anansi energy, this trickery demon energy, this somebody who they tell a lot of half truths to create a web of lies. To create a straight web of lies. You can see the web underneath them. This person dressed up in a suit. A demon is dressed up in a suit. Take it as it resonates. Somebody dressed up like they do no wrong. Ooh, they're a shapeshifter. Somebody went to this person for information. 
this part, whoever this person is, especially with them coming out, is that type of demon? And we talking about this um, pestilence energy. Mm. This person, when they was given information, it was all about sabotage. It was all about trying to create somebody's downfall. That's what, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Whoa. Whoa. Queen of Swords in reverse. Of course. Of course. A diabolical, pathological liar. Of course. Ruthless. Cold-blooded. She a whole reptilian. What I say? Shapeshifter. Trying to steal your story. Somebody pretending to be an earth angel. Child, miss me with it. Child, I cannot, yo, I cannot. What's going on? Who we got theft in story? Somebody, they, their whole hidden agenda. You knew the key to their agenda, their hidden agenda. They got so mad, they try to mess with your destiny. Huh, we got big Virgo energy, hermit energy. We got 10 of pentacles in reverse. These people wanted you to, it's like somebody wanted you to isolate with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They wanted you to lose a union here. Your legacy. Everything with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Everything that you're building. This is what they thought they could do. Poison your Ten of Pentacles. Big Virgo energy. Two of Cups showing. I'm telling you, for some of you guys, there was like a, a, a potential power couple here. Child, let's see. What's going on? Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, and it's like they didn't want you to be successful. Somebody didn't like the attention you were getting. But see, look at this. Your destiny is untouched. See, it's like you could have had some kind of setback. And you isolated to recover. You stopped telling people your business. You stopped telling people your next move. And with this, your destiny, where you're going, your career, Will of Fortune Upright, Six of Wands, baby, you win. They could not change your destiny. Your destiny is protected here. Big Sagittarius energy, double Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune showing up. That's expansive energy. Come through. And Jupiter is in Taurus right now, if I'm not mistaken. Or it just went through Taurus. Baby, expansive energy is here. Wheel of Fortune, we're talking about Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy, double Sag, Six of Wands. Your destiny is protected. Your success is protected. Your angels are here. They could have never. Who oh, come through. Now somebody, they so jealous. They so jealous. Somebody got so jealous, they found out somebody want to apologize to you. Knight of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups. They're so mad that somebody wants to apologize to you. That could have been like a passionate argument or something like that. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize. Somebody got so mad when they found that out. Yeah, they could never make your, like, make, somebody wanted to make your destiny sick. Or for your destiny to be that you get sick. For your career to get sick. Oh, that's why I wanted everything to be unhealthy for you. So your career wouldn't have stability. So you would not have upward mobility in your career. They would make sure that you could not get to where you're trying to go. Child, what is going on here? One more from this deck. Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody was like, man, there is a masculine here that was doing the most in the past. Knight of Wands in reverse, Six of Cups. Who? Mm-mm-mm. Whoever this masculine is, somebody could definitely have been like a sex addict here. Definitely inconsistent in his ego. Everything is changing for this masculine. He's under judgment. This pestilence, this disease energy is here. This masculine could be finding out about something like that. Child, let's see what's going on. Who? Let's see. What else is going on here? Because, baby, I'm trying to see. Mm -mm -mm. What cards I want to use here? Let's use. Whew. 
let's use let's use these Whew. this energy is something else i'm telling you we got key to life and karma damn somebody's getting karma because they tried to have the key to your life these people gonna learn to stop doing this child. thank you thank you guys oh this reading is two hours long oh my god they got karma because they opened, what did I say? Somebody opened their big, funky mouth. Their big, funky mouth. Got them caught up in this? Come through. It's a whole bunch of people caught up in this. Baby, let's see what else is going on. We got to wrap this up. This, this energy is wild. I don't even know what to title this video. Y'all put in the chat what I should title this video, okay? I'm going to watch the replay and see which one. <laughs> okay, you guys. Something is brewing, I'm telling you. It's brewing. All of this is coming out. Look at that. We got something that's brewing and sneaky. It's like this person is so nervous. It's, they're so nervous because now their plans are being revealed. Somebody's reflecting. This back to the past energy talks about reflective, enlightening. You warned somebody about something that was going to happen. And now you got a whole bunch of people gossiping about it. Who? Somebody said Bigfoot has fallen. <laughs> Come through. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Mm, somebody's in love with you. They wish they would have been loyal. This person was loyal to the devil. Damn, didn't I say there was a masculine that was loyal to the wrong person? Look at that. We have beware of the charmer's pact. Warning unfolds against the bearer of keys empowered by dark, dark forces to unlock and consume. Look at that word again. Didn't I tell you somebody was trying to consume you? Consume the essence of the unwary granted access by shadows. This key holder does not seek a connection, but depletion aiming to drain your energy and spirit. Protect your inner sanctuary. Discern true intentions and resist the seductive guise of those who come bearing gifts of darkness. Didn't I say that there is somebody here who has like, there is a masculine man. I'm talking about he got a demonic attachment on him. Who? Oh, you could have been in love with this masculine and you had to pull back because this masculine had a contract with a demon or something like that. But somebody found out they were being loyal to a demon, period. Could have warned this masculine about that. Yeah, there were a whole bunch of people jealous. Jealous because you're a warrior princess. Jealous because you would not submit to this energy. There are people mad about this. Somebody was jealous because somebody is in love with you? Come through. A whole bunch of people are gossiping about this. What else is going on? Something is brewing? Damn. That somebody's about to get backstabbed. Whoa. You knew that somebody was going to ultimately be betrayed. They didn't want to listen to you. Come through, spirit. What else? We got sneaky. Somebody thought they were sneaky. Yeah, they thought that they would be sneaky. And come towards you. Whoever this is, for some of you guys, man, that, that is a straight up karmic masculine here. Who was so sneaky. This person wants to come towards you, communicate some kind of love offer or something like that. This person is getting karma with sneaky. And thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jessica. With sneaky incoming communication and love offer. Yeah. Somebody straight up trying to come in. This person is trying to come in because they're getting karma. They're getting karma, period. Yeah. They trying to come in because you got the key to life. Yeah, it's like people know you got the key to life now because you called this situation out. Somebody, no man, they know you the real high priestess. They know you're highly intuitive. They know that you get messages from God because you called it straight up. What's loyalty? Come through, spirit. What's loyalty? Yeah, somebody was loyal to the wrong people. I'm telling you, come through. Loyalty and lost on this journey, period. Period. Loyalty and lost on this journey. There is this, a masculine was loyal to a demon and ended up in a contract, ended up in a pact with the devil, period. Who, beware of the charmer's pact. There's a whole contract there. What's going on? 
Yeah, this man, he can't even, somebody can't even build themselves now. Whoever these people are too, what I'm getting to is like a broader message. These energies that created these packs with this devil, now they can't even rebuild themselves. With this Bob the Builder energy in reverse, somebody can't even rebuild themselves. So whatever they thought they were going to benefit, whatever little crumbs come through spirit. We were talking about crumbs earlier. They thought that they were going to get from coming in this contract, making these packs with the devil, trying to execute these plans against you. These people can't even build themselves back up. These people are nothing but keyboard gangsters. All they could do is watch you, okay? All they could do is watch you and stalk you. They're so jealous. Come through, spirit. What's jealousy? Somebody's jealous because somebody's in love with you. Come through. What's jealousy? Envy, tension, unsettling. Yeah, these people want to compete. What's jealousy? Yeah, these people, these people, it's like they're so jealous. They wanted to attack you or something like that. 90s, babe, they want to give you nothing but setbacks. These jealous people are being stomped out. They're done. They can't do nothing to you. They can't do nothing to you. They've been given the boot. This jealousy is up out of here. What did I say? What did I mean? What I got three confirmations. Now, these people can't do nothing to you at all. One more on that. Child, they wish. I cannot. They can't do nothing to you. They can't do nothing to you. See, they tried to take your heart. Didn't I say they tried to take your heart? We got heart collector in reverse. They can't take your heart. This jar spell, these spells that they tried to put on you, it failed, baby. You got nothing but good things coming, period, period. Look, sweep away bad luck, protection from evil, cleanse, purify, self-reflection, personal growth. You already swept away this energy. You know this, You knew this energy was coming after you. You knew that. Why? Because you got spiritual gifts come through. That's how you knew that. That's how you knew that. These people could never take you. They could never take you. Child, what is going on? Let's see. Oh, let's wrap this up. Oh my goodness. These people are caught in a tangled web now. So what, what is the outcome here? Because baby, I need to get out of this reading. Oh, I need to get out of this reading. Oh my goodness, this reading is so long. Oh, I'm telling you, this, this person has been burned. You got a snake that got burned, period. Somebody who was going behind your back, being deceitful. We got a swindler, a scammer. The scammer got scammed. The snake got snaked. The snake got burned. They burned themselves. Come through spirit, they burned themselves. Oh, come through. What's the outcome? Look at that. They never saw it coming. Look at how it is. Look how this showed itself. Unpredictable and starting over. They got to come from ground zero. Come through spirit. Come through spirit. They got to start all the way over. Oh, it's so funny, right? Look how karma work. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Didn't I say they wanted to give you a setback? Especially when I saw that Virgo energy with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They thought that that setback was going to set you all the way back to where you would be broken. But see, you had Wheel of Fortune come in. You had Judgment come in. You had Six of Wands come in. You had your angels come in. So you wasn't broken because God restored you. God restored your heart. See, you was never, you was never going to be broken. See, these plans failed. These plans to make you sick. These plans to make sick, make everything you treasure sick. They thought that was the key. They thought the key was to make everything you treasure sick. See, they never knew that they would be starting over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Who is, um, who is it? Thank you, Margareta. Yeah, they th they really thought that they could they could control you. Yeah, they tried to control some kind of negative energy with demanding negative negativity. Somebody didn't I say that for some of you guys there was like cruel intentions with a masculine here. A not so divine masculine here. 
Ooh, y'all remember that movie, Cruel Intentions? Whoa, somebody was ordering a masculine to be cruel. They were demanding negativity. They were demanding cruelty. Come through, spirit. Damn. Whoa, that's what they were demanding? Yeah, this devilish energy with devilish showing up. Yeah, they were demanding this. A deadly combo could have been two people that wanted this. Yeah, they wanted this against you. Come through. You know what's so crazy? This all started because you intuitively knew you had to protect yourself. Ain't that something? What else? Outcome. Who? It backfired. It backfired on these two people. Period. It's too little, too late. Yeah. Bad timing and it takes two. There's at least two karmic energies that this backfired on big time. They can't make one move against you. They all talk. They all talk and no smoke. Divine Feminine had to smoke for real. See, because God showed up for you. You had to smoke for real. They all talk. They're all talk. There's no smoke. Baby. Child. Let's finish the outcome. Let's finish, you guys. We're going to get out of this, you guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you guys share. Okay, that's how YouTube knows you love my content. That's how I know. Big Scorpio energy at the bottom. Death energy talks about transformation. They never knew that everything would backfire. They never knew that you was, your transformation is you came out of this a phoenix. You rose a phoenix. Four of Cups in reverse. You didn't really miss out on an opportunity. God had another opportunity waiting for you. Come through. That opportunity was tainted. It was tainted. Somebody had attachments. Yeah. That person got to go get cleansed or something. Baby, what's the outcome? Come through, spirit. What's the outcome? Who? look at that. Big death energy coming through. Big death energy coming through. Okay. Who? The outcome is everything changed. Everything changed. Huh, five of cups. They, man, they embarrassed. They're embarrassed. They can't even look at themselves. They're done with themselves. Period. They're done with themselves. Somebody is so ashamed. I'm telling you, Six of Swords, you moved forward and left all of this behind. Now this person's sick to their stomach. Who? Yeah, everything is changing now. These people are sick to their stomach. Because you get to move forward, everything is ending. Everything is ending. They never predicted this. Outcome, Seven of Swords. Baby, they never knew they was going to get judgment for all of this deception. The seven times they came after you. The seven times they came after you come through spirit. Scorpio Sagittarius energy. They didn't know they was going to get judgment for what they did. Yeah. I'm telling you, for some of you guys, I'm telling you, a karmic masculine got, man, got outdone by another karmic. A scammer got scammed. A snake got snake. A shapeshifter made a whole, met, like met the bigger shapeshifter. Come through. I'll come. Who? They can't even move. Damn. This jealous person? They can't even move. And look, she showed up again. Cherry in reverse. Big cancer energy. Look at that. We got the tower. What is that sticking out? Queen of Swords in reverse. She came out again. How many times we gonna see the Queen of Swords in reverse? The cherry in reverse cancer energy. We talking about the outcome, baby. Come through. They can't do anything. They so confused. Seven of cups, nine of cups in reverse. They're confused. These jealous energies, these hateful energies, they all in their emotions. They sick. They confused. They can't believe you got to move forward. They trying to figure out how you get to run off in the sunset in a new soul contract. Or how you get to run off in the sunset with your new soul mate. They trying to figure out how you get to go into the sunset and loving yourself. Period. They trying to figure it out. Because look, the chariot is upside down. They're stuck. They're stuck in a tower.
or they can't even move this queen of swords in reverse who been running her mouth about you since the moment she came in, out in this life, period. Damn, somebody been a liar their whole life. Who? Golly. Even since you were a child. Damn, what kind of person that is. Who? Oh, so whoever that queen of swords is in reverse, she her family is just like her. Her family is just like her. Nobody's surprised. Nobody's surprised about whoever that Queen of Swords is in reverse because her family is just like her. Come through, spirit. Just like it. Just like her. Let's see. Who? Let's see. What's the death? Everything is changing. Everything is ending for these people. They've been burned. It ain't nothing but the truth because you got the victory here. It's straight up karma. Who? The truth came out and put all of these people to sleep. Who? And I mean sleep, sleep. The truth came out and deaded this whole situation. Damn. This ain't nothing but karma, wheel of fortune. This is destiny. See, these are people that tried to manipulate destiny here, but look at what's happening here. This, is, this was actually always meant to be the outcome. They could never escape this. See, they thought that they were invincible. They thought that they could consume you, consume your energy, consume your career, where you're going and your destiny, consume your commitments, send you some kind of hidden, sudden illness. They thought that they could do this, baby. Death came out first. Everything transformed. There was an awakening here. Huh. Now, now they see, who somebody see you the truth now. They see you the truth now. Thank you. Who? What's the Ace of Swords? You the truth now. I'm telling you. Oh, you the high priestess of our feminine. Oh my God. Look at how you the high priestess. What did I tell you? Look at how you spoke the truth. We got moon energy. Moon talks about a mystery. It talks about hidden knowledge, secret. You literally spoke the truth. And ended these people. They don't even, see, they didn't even realize that once you spoke the truth, once it came out, they were already done. They were literally already done. One, four, four, one in the chat, baby. I'm telling you, 1414, they already was done. You spoke the truth about hidden knowledge. The moon, you prophesized this. You spoke the truth about hidden knowledge. These people are shook. Damn, they shook. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. Damn, you done. Whoa. Whoa. That ace of swords with that moon. Oh, my goodness. That's why these people are sick to their stomach. That's why they devised a plan. You saw right through all of it. Now they sick. I'm telling you they sick. Nine of swords, they sick. They head in the pillow, they stressed. They can't get no sleep. How did you know that? Is what they're trying to figure out. How did you know? Well, how did you know? Because God brought you the truth. Hello? Hello? You don't see this big sword coming out of the clouds? What you thought? Hello? God brought you the truth and told you intuitively, protect yourself. Something's wrong with these people. Attitude. Something happened in the past here. Nah, the way this person was moving, it was funny and you knew it. You knew it. You knew what was going on. And now they all sick. Yeah, you knew the truth. For some of you, you know the truth about a death. Okay? Take it how it resonates. You know the truth about a death. You know the truth about hidden knowledge about somebody's passing. Take it how it resonates. Because that's clear as day over there. Too clear, actually. Okay. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords over here by this devilish, demanding negativity energy. I'll be damned. What's going on? Whew. That's the Seven of Swords, baby. The outcome. Damn. Oh, my God. Who? I don't know why people do this to themselves. I actually have no idea why people do this to themselves. So they was all being the seven. Why am I getting seven people? Is there seven?
seven people. Is it that many people involved here? Seven or more? Damn. We do got toy evil soldiers. Oh, seven of swords being clarified by the ten of swords. Baby. This queen of pentacles, karmic mother, cousin, sister. A feminine attachment. Who? Oh, you spoke the truth. You knew what she was doing. Ten of Swords. Somebody knows that a, there's a fake healer. Somebody knows that there's a thief. There's a feminine energy here who consumes. She's a vampire. She could even be a gold digger. Come through. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the devil. She is the devil. Come through. Double Capricorn energy at that. Somebody have a strong Capricorn placement. There's a Queen of Pentacles in reverse who was in somebody's ear being the devil. Somebody was being the devil's advocate. Damn. Woo. Okay. Ten of swords. The deceivers have been deceived. What I said. Seven of swords, ten of swords, eight of swords. They're trapped up now. Yeah, they're trapped up now. Somebody who was deceiving you has been deceived even more. Damn. Three times harder. It's like somebody who deceived you got deceived three times harder. Is what I'm getting. Come through. What's the Ten of Swords? The Ten of Pentacles by their own family? Whoa. Whew. Even their own family was a part of this. Even their own family was a part of this deception. Somebody's own bloodline is in this damn mess. Somebody could be seeing 1010. There's a lot of betrayal here. Whoa, Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. When it comes to a large sum of money, these people ended their money. These people that was playing with all of this deceptive energy, these people literally killed their legacy. Somebody's, oh damn. Oh my goodness. Okay, somebody created a, a curse. For me to even say that, killed your own legacy. Somebody has like created a brand new curse. Yeah, they put a block. Who? Seven to one. Somebody put a block on their own family. Damn. Take it how it resonates. There's somebody that was trying to block you. Chariot in reverse. That also gives me accident energy. Big cancer energy. Somebody wanted you to be in an accident. It was bad timing when they did this. Man, and the boy did it backfire. Now they can't move. They so stuck. Hangman in reverse, big Pisces energy. They defeated themselves, five of swords in reverse. Damn. Somebody wanted you to not be able to see while you're driving. What is that? Like blurry vision with that hangman in reverse and the chariot in reverse for you not to see. This is almost like, even like with her being in this position, this is almost like falling asleep at the wheel or something like that. Yeah, these people have been stopped. They can't, yeah, this energy is just too dark. Damn, what would they do? Ooh, man. Ooh, hey man, in reverse. They didn't see this coming. They didn't see this coming. An ex-lover? This could even be a couple. There could be a karmic couple involved here. We got lovers here showing up. Gemini energy. You could have had one of your soulmates didn't believe you about somebody here that was trying to sabotage you or attack you. Or you have a soulmate here who's caught up in this, in this chariot in reverse energy. And this is their karma, Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, take it how it resonates. Whew, one more on that lover's energy. Come through, spirit. They're under judgment. Damn. They're under judgment. Scorpio Sagittarius energy. Baby, they're under judgment. Whoo, that's the outcome. Whoo. Let me get a message card. Let me get a message card, you guys. We're going to end this. Whoo, look at this. We got mother wounds and I'm leaving. There could be a divine master and find out that his own karmic mama betrayed him or something like that. Or somebody's opinion. There was a feminine energy that played a role in somebody, in, in somebody leaving or in somebody not returning. 
or something like that. We got others' opinions and we got I'm leaving. Somebody was telling somebody to leave a situation or something like that. Yeah, and whoever this person is, they regret doing this. We got tears and I'm leaving in reverse. Somebody is straight up sick that they let a situation leave them. They let a blessing leave or something like that. Take it how it resonates. Oh, let's take some cards here. All right, we got three. Somebody's lost. Yeah. I'm telling you, whoever this is was spoiling you, you're mysterious and unclear. I feel like you were spoiling someone here, Divine Feminine. You were spoiling someone here. And like, you could have had people hating on you because you're mysterious, because you're different. They wanted to make, they wanted to create confusion around you. They wanted somebody to be lost when it came to you. Whoa. Let me get two more. Somebody's got a toxic mother here. Because mother wounds came out again. There's some kind of toxic mother energy here or older sister toxic feminine energy or something like that came out again you knew that oh wow i'm telling you you made somebody nervous look at that we got my dreams talk about that prophecy energy talk about that pisces cancer energy talk about things that were revealed to you in your dreams you made them nervous you made them nervous what i said in my last reading say my name make them nervous you made them nervous with what you said when you spoke the truth look at that you're so smart nervous you're so smart you made them nervous and they and then and, and boom all of this because these people didn't want your story to come out it's so crazy because this is your story it's like they don't want you to tell your story this is your truth. They got a problem with your truth, your story, your intuition. This is your story. They don't want your story to come out. Nobody told them to play these devilish roles when it comes to your story. And, and now they sick. Child, I cannot. <laughs> okay. Who oh, you guys. That is your reading. Oh my God. Y'all tell me about it. What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? I'm so sorry. It was so hard starting this reading. So many things happened. I had to end the reading. I had somebody putting a code in my door downstairs. <laughs> I had to end the reading. I had so much going on between between me going upstairs and downstairs i broke one of my nails like the video was freezing it was so much going on damn <laughs> you said bigfoot the new dummy this bigfoot karmic was doing the most thank you thank you welcome new subbies you said you're gonna start from the beginning okay thank you thank you you said everything i said was the truth thank you Thank you. Okay, what's this? Somebody said stand up. Why would I stand up? <laughs> okay, yeah, Bigfoot failed. Okay, thank you. You said I was spot on. Okay, yeah, they didn't want to come out. Because if y'all remember when I first started the reading, the video was freezing for no reason. It was freezing for no reason whatsoever. Okay? You said if you told me your story, I would fall out. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness. You got to email me your story now. You said everything. You said everything, man, was positive, nothing but the truth. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I definitely stand in my truth. Okay. Oh my God. Get this. Some, there's a troll in here with a YouTube page. Get them up out of here. Okay, you guys. Thank y'all so much. Okay. You say you know everything they did. I know you do. Not so much I look like a a WWE superstar. I don't even know how to take that. I don't even know how to take that. All I know is that the women, they are in tip top shape. So I'm going to take that as a compliment. Somebody said, do I believe in Jesus? Jesus is the most documented historical person. What you mean? And that's just factually. Okay. Let's see. Well, who else? 
is here. This is Ellen. Hi, Ellen. You said kiss sugar for you. She been so bad. I kicked her out the room. Okay. Who else is here? Ever reading on point. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how you know that. Thank you. You said there's more. You said you wasn't trying to be on the page. You know it was heaven sent. Ah, thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Love is God. Absolutely. God is love. God created love. How could God not be love? Okay. Yeah, the trolls are trolling tonight. I don't know what's up with them, child. They don't want the message to get out. Let's see. You say you love all my looks. Thank you. I was a little nervous um, with this look. Like, I've done this color hair before, but I've never done like big hair. Y'all, next week is my birthday. It's my birthday. I'll be in Chicago. Yes, it's my birthday. Y'all know I'm a Taurus. So I can't wait. Okay, I think um I think Wednesday or Thursday, but my birthday coming up. Okay, you said is it 424? You one day off the 25th. 425. Okay. I'll be in Chicago for my birthday. Um, I'm going to go live. I'm going I'm to still go live. I'll just be live from the hotel. Yes, I'm a tourist. What sign did you guys say? Okay, now I got to ask. Now I got to ask. <laughs> what sign did you guys think I was? Let me clean up while I ask this. Let me see. What sign? Thank you. Thank you. I'll be live on my birthday. So y'all will get me. I'm going to make sure. Um, y'all probably won't get a lot of uploads. So premium memories, I will... Um, be recording readings that just go straight to the site. I'll try to, I'll send you guys emails. You say birthday's on the 27th. You thought I was a Virgo, Sag, Aries, Cancer. Aries is my north um, node. Okay, Taurus. Oh, you thought I was a Taurus? Okay, Scorpio. My moon is Scorpio. My moon is Scorpio. You say your B-Day was last week. Happy belated. Aquarius, that's interesting. I've never been confused for an Aquarius. I don't know, Aquarius could be a little crazy sometimes. I guess I could be a little crazy sometimes. Okay, let's see. Ah, Aries, cause I'm beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, Sag or Aries. I tell you, Aries is my North Node. I feel like um, as I continue down my purpose, I feel like I've been like ta um, tapping more and more into Aries uh, energy. And I feel like that's, uh, you know, because Aries is my North Node. You know what I mean? So Aries is what I'm trying to, uh, I'm conquering my South Node, which is Libra. Okay. And uh, going into that Aries energy. So as you find yourself into your in your purpose, you're going to find yourself uh, starting to show more of your North Node. Thank you. Yeah, it'll, I'll be live on my birthday next week. So you guys will be able... You said you love how I utilize so many decks. Yeah, I, you know, I, I go through a whole process <laughs> before I even start the reading about what decks am I using, um, how do I feel? You know, I, I literally shuffle through so many decks and it all depends on like how I feel like while I'm shuffling. And I'm like, nope, nope, yep, yep, nope, nope. So let's see. You got nothing hotter than an Aries. Let's see. What is? I'm dead. So I'm, I'm surprised nobody said they thought I was a uh, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm a uh, Capricorn is my rising sign. So I rise a Capricorn. I don't think I showed too many uh, Capricorn attributes um, the way I used to, right? You know, as you get older, you kind of go away um, from your um, rising sign. You know, but also I'm a Taurus. So Capricorn is like, until we had so much in common. So I think sometimes I may still embody that Capricorn energy. Let's see. Damn, somebody said welfare vibes. Whoa, okay, child. <laughs> These people is crazy. Imagine somebody coming into somebody live stream to tell them welfare vibes. And then, then these people are hilarious. They come in and they push that energy out on you 
That same person going to be looking to borrow money from somebody in about two days. Yeah, I put it out there, baby. Now you're going to need some money, right? And then they're going to say, you know what they're going to say to you? Oh, uh-uh, you always need help. And now you're not going to get the help that you want. You see how you just did that? You see how you just did that to yourself? You shouldn't do that to yourself, okay? I was just, um, yeah, they're going to be begging in a second. I was just talking to, um, hold on, okay. I was just talking to one of my uh, girlfriends, and we were talking about Saturn, okay? We were talking about that Saturn energy, and we were talking about um, how wherever, like, Saturn, like, whatever house Saturn lives in or whatever house you have in Saturn, excuse me, um, talks about how people get their karma when they mess with you, right? Or when they do things to you. And so for me, uh, Saturn is my in my 11th house. And so the 11th house talks about hopes, wishes, dreams, everything that you want to be. Everything that you want, your hopes and wishes. And so I'm like, geez, boy, that karma, that karma show up huge. <laughs> so definitely, definitely, uh, y'all check out y'all birth chart and see what do you have, um, what house um, you have in Saturn. And then look into that house and that will tell you a lot um, about how karma shows up. When people do you wrong, how that karma shows up, how karma shows up when people do you wrong, how karma show up when people do you good. Cause baby, mine is the 11th house and I'll always be like, damn, I don't know why. Mm. We didn't want that karma to show up in your hopes and dreams, baby. But that's where it is. Okay, let's see. You said next year is going to be great. Yeah, it's definitely going to be great. Okay, you say, God, the archangels, your ancestors came through. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cat, you ain't got to worry. I'm always ignoring them. I just find them to be so um, pathetic at best. Okay. Touch my anoint. Touch not my anointed. I know that's right. Okay, you guys. Somebody said, Niecy Nash. Oh, no, you don't have to block that person. Um, or oh, that person was timed out. Everybody said, I like everybody says I look like Nisi Nash. <laughs> That's very common. That's very common. You said, What's a legit place to do a bird chart? You can get your bird chart from my side. Um, I'm gonna say the best way to understand your bird chart is don't depend on people to, um, dissect your birth chart for you what you need to do is first get your birth chart right you could get it using a free birth chart calculator i have a birth chart calculator on my website it's one of the main menu sections and you just put in your information and it'll give you a birth chart then you gotta take the time it takes time to truly research your birth chart it took me almost a year to get my birth chart. Thank you. Thank you. It took me almost a year to get my birth chart down pack. And what that means is every planet, every planetary placement, I researched, research, research, what it mean, what it mean with this and this, what it mean. Like I'm literally researching every planetary placement, every planetary placement. Then I'm looking at the houses, every house placement. I'm researching, I'm researching, I'm researching, I'm researching. Then you can take all of that information and start to line that up with astrological events, right? Just like how I told you guys, and I believe Jupiter is still in Taurus, um, but you could actually start, um, so like Jupiter in Taurus. So you could look at where, um, what do you, you could look at what does Jupiter mean for you? Okay, what do you have in your Jupiter placement? Do you have a house where Jupiter is dominant? Okay, so, and look at that. And now you're going to start like aligning 
those placements, right, with what astrological event is going on, right? So we're talking about Jupiter in Taurus. Jupiter is very expansive energy, right? Um, and then we have Taurus. Taurus is what? Taurus rules the second house. Taurus also uh, rules Venus. So when we talk about Jupiter and Taurus, we're talking about expanding on love, your emotions. Venus is the planet of love. Second house is your resources, your 3D um, resources. Uh, so everything that's tangible and meaningful for you, everything that's grounded here for you. Um, so then, so you want to look at Jupiter. So if Jupiter is in Taurus, what Taurus placements do you have? What do you have in Jupiter? And what does this astrological event mean to you? So that's when you start looking at all of the placements that's going on right now, right? So where everything is positioned right now and tying that back to your um, birth chart. Thank you. Thank you, Deez. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You say I don't give you Capricorn. Yeah, um, Capricorn is my rising sign. I think you really probably see my Capricorn energy like when it comes to like handling business and things like that. Um, but I don't feel like I really show much um, Capricorn anymore. I think now I show more of my Tarian um, my Scorpio energy is definitely there. That moon, that moon sign ain't going nowhere. <laughs> okay. And then I feel like I've been shifting into my, um, North node, which is Aries. Okay. You said I'm every bit of Taurus. <laughs> I love being a Taurus. My oldest daughter, um, uh, is a Taurus as well. Okay, you said North Node is Aries for you as well. Okay, okay, you said that's yours. Yeah, my South Node is Libra. So a long time ago with a South Node in Libra, whew, that could be rough, right? When your South Node is in Libra, because when your South Node is in Libra, um, before you make decisions that are best for you, you're always considering other people, uh, how it affects them, what they think. Um, so you're thinking about so much besides yourself before you make uh, decisions and even like how you present yourself. You kind of like walk a fine line. You don't want to offend people um, and things like that. So when you have Libra in your South Node, you're always trying to find balance even when it comes to what's best for you and it becomes hard um, to make decisions for yourself. But when you get over that, um, you start to really go into your um, purpose because you got to learn how to choose yourself. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see what else you guys are saying. Yeah, no, I definitely. But you got to get out of that because a South Node in Libra can really hold you back in life because you, you have so much big energy. You have so much to give to the world. But because you're so cautious of how other people can feel, how other people may think, I um, mean, you don't want to step on nobody's toes. You don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You can hold yourself back and cause yourself to miss your own blessings. So if you have a South Node in Libra, you got you to gotta get past that because you are literally uh, limiting your growth. Uh, you can email me at info at mermaidprophetess.com. You said, I encourage you to go ahead and publish the book. Yeah, do that. Get your story out. Okay. And you say you get that though with your Libra rising. Yeah, a Libra rising could do that to you too. A Libra rising could do that to you too. Okay. Let's see. Jupiter and Pisces in the seventh house. I think my um I think I got Jupiter and Pisces. I think we have that together. Jupiter and Pisces in the seventh house. Huh. Okay. Seventh house, we're talking about partnerships. All right, Jupiter, definitely expansive energy, lucky energy. Okay. Jupiter, seventh house, Pisces. Hell, you could actually end up with a celebrity um or something like that um when it comes to cuz that's your seventh house. Whatever um, partnership that you are meant to get in is huge, okay? With that Jupiter um, and Pisces in the seventh house, 
whoever you're meant to be partnered with should be somebody that is uh, just as spiritual or at least willing um, to learn um, as much as you. You should share a spiritual connection with this person or you're going to struggle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You said Libra is your South Node. Yeah, you struggle. With it. Yeah, you got you to gotta get through that. Okay, let's see. What else you guys got while I'm here? Okay, I'm thinking about, I don't know, using one of my channels to go through um, more information about astrology. You say you're 23. Okay, you say you're the 23rd. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm about to go. Y'all got any more sign questions or anything like that? I'm about to check out. <laughs> okay, yay for Scorpio moons. Whew, that's a deep moon right there. You said North Node Gemini. Huh, okay. Whew, North Node and Gemini. You definitely have to accept the duality um, about yourself. Um, you have duality. There are two sides of you um, that may be completely different. Um, and you need to find a way to make those two sides work together. You said 11th house Jupiter in Taurus. Okay, so I'm going to do that one right next. So you got to find out how, um, how to make both sides of you work together. It's not good. You should not be suppressing one side of you. Okay, both sides of you matter and there's nothing wrong with it and you need to find a way to make that work together. Let me see, who is that? Thank you for the super chat. Okay, you say 11th house, Jupiter. Whoo, okay. And Taurus, baby. And you tell me like, um, your hopes and wishes. Oh my goodness, your desires. We're talking about your 11th house is expansive. So you have big, big dreams, but you also have that Taurus energy. So, okay, Taurus energy, beautiful energy. Um, unfortunately, one thing about Taurus energy is, God, you can move really slow, right? We can move really slow to do things because you can't, you can't rush a bull. A bull, the only time a bull is in a rush is when it's about to take your head off, okay? So, you definitely, so where the struggle is for you with Jupiter in your 11th house and it's in Taurus, um, the struggle for you is going to be staying focused on the things that you really, really want and getting there. So it's like you have to push yourself. You got the plan. You got the knowledge. You know what you have to do. Taurus is a very comfortable energy. So the problem is you get content. You get content. So you get content and you stop the forward movement to exactly what it is that you're trying to do. And that's why you could be suffering somewhere in your seventh house, but you're actually meant to expand in your seventh house. With that Jupiter there, it, it's there. So it's it's there for you. Um, it's just that that Taurus energy could be slow. Um, it could be distracting um, and it could be very stubborn. Uh, so it's like, uh, so you gotta watch yourself to not get too content. Um, which is very difficult for Taurus energy um, because Taurus energy by nature just likes to be comfortable. And so you get comfortable. And so when you get comfortable, you stop pushing and challenging yourself. So that's the thing with um, with that. All right, let's see. Oh, what else do we got here? Okay, let's see if there's another uh, Wayne and I'll go. You say you about to eat the galactic Milky Way. Damn, what the hell you got going on? You said, do I do personals? Uh, yeah, you can go to my website to book a personal. Uh, mermaidprophetess.com. Love and light to you as well. Thank you, thank you. You said Jupiter is in your sixth house, Virgo. Whoa, what a beautiful energy. So you have had people hate you for no reason just because of your looks. Um, you're not even trying to do the most. And for some reason, people are intimidated um, by that. Okay. You are most likely somebody who people have tried to put glamour spells on, beauty spells on. Okay. Stuff like that. Um, you end up in these competitions that you didn't even know you were a part of. Okay. Let's see. What else? Thank you. Thank you. 
You said all day long. I already know. I already know. And then especially with Jupiter um, and Virgo energy, it's like you just getting more and more beautiful every year. You like aging backwards. <laughs> okay, Destiny, you said North Node in Aquarius. Girl, stop holding back the truth. <laughs> okay? Uh, North Node in Aquarius, you should be speaking your truth. I'm talking about sharp. Like, stop holding it back. Like, the truth is the truth. No matter what it is, stop holding it back. For you to have Aquarius in your North Node, that means that you need to be okay with just saying what it is, with just saying how you feel. Like, you need to just be okay with doing that. Stop holding back the truth. Stop holding back information. Okay, you could be somebody who probably got information, got the truth, and you just not even given the information. You get what I'm saying? Because you just like, oh, I didn't know. You were meant to speak the truth. That, that's your position. Your position is to call people out. Like, <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> okay, you have North Node Aquarius. Your position is to call people out. <laughs> and people can't stand when you call them out. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, rolling and stuff, you might as well just cut the situation off right then and there. Because while you, of course, right, because you got that Pisces energy too, um, you're going to tolerate it, right? Because you got some mutable sign in you as well. Um, but the truth is that's a big red flag for you. That's a huge red flag for you. Because you shut you shut down under control. Um, so you're not going to reach all of your goals. Um, if you allow yourself to be in a controlling environment or deal with people, you can't have too many people around you that's trying to control your perspective, um, that's trying to control how you move um, because you're, it's like you're not going to have forward movement. You say, what about you, the Aquarian? Let me see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You say, about you, the Aquarian? I need more information than that unless you just know Aquarius. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'll probably do one more. Let's see one more. Y'all go get your um your birth chart. Okay, and you gotta you guys gotta research every aspect of it. Let's see. Sagittarius fifth house, Sagittarius and Leo. Jeez. Who Leo energy? We're talking about leadership. We talking about your ideas. You got big ideas, you got big goals, you got big dreams, and you should be moving towards that, period. Anybody that don't support those, you need to like get away from them. You you like you shouldn't even be friends with people that don't support all of your dreams because you're the type of person that that that's what you need. That like that's actually what you need. Like you can't be around people that um that are like um downers when it comes to your ideas and stuff because your ideas were made to go far um so if people try to kind of box in your ideas or shoot down your ideas um it does not benefit you at all okay aries sun sagittarius rising moon in scorpio venus pisces oh my god you dream you dream and you dream and breathe love okay let's start with that money bag okay aries sun sagittarius rising damn okay so i don't know how old you were you are but what i do know is that when you were younger who you was a firecracker <laughs> Ain't no, ain't no stopping you, okay? Ain't no stopping you, okay? Uh, what was that sun for you? What was that sun for you? I can't remember. Okay, you had Aries sun, Sag rising, moon, Scorpio, Venus, Pisces. Okay, so moon, Scorpio, highly intuitive. You pick up on everything, even the darkest aspects, okay? And Venus, Pisces. Ooh, so when you in relationships, you even dream about your lovers. You get signs through dreams and vision, um, visions about what's going on in your relationship. And it's all true. It's all true. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Scorpio moon and a Pisces and Venus. You over there dreaming about you. You're like, I know you're doing this. I know this is happening. <laughs> I dreamt it. 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. So I say how old I am. Okay, y'all, y'all guess. Y'all guess. I'm gonna jump off of here now. I'm gonna go ahead and have y'all guess how old I am, and then I'm gonna tell y'all how old I am. <laughs> Let's guess. You said um Gemini Sun, Scorpio Moon, Cancer Venus, you ascending Aquarius. Gemini Sun, Scorpio Moon. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Cancer Venus. Um, what I what I can tell you, let me see, 38, 37, 32, 35, 27. What I can tell you, um, who that was, they got that cancer um Venus, is that your um your true soulmate is somebody that is so loving. Like I'm talking about they're so tender, like they're so gentle. I mean, like they just want to love on you, and that's how they that's how they become happy. That's your true soulmate. God at least somebody put me at 44. Who oh, Jesus? I, I guess I need to use more um more face moisturizer or something. <laughs> Oh, I put me at 44. <laughs> okay. Let me see. You said 36 and a half. 33. Early 30s. Okay. You said not your proudest nut. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said I have a college age child. So in the 30s. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I have an 18 year old. She's in college. Okay, I'm about to be 38, you guys. I'll be 38 next week. I mean, 38 next week. Okay, let's see. You say you 54, no biggie. Well, I don't know. Like, somebody put me at 44. I'm like, I haven't been here for 44 years yet. So I don't want to be put at 44 until I'm, I've actually been here for that many years. Thank you. I'll be live on my birthday. Okay. Thank you. Somebody said fine wine. Okay. Let's see. You said you was on a solar eclipse. You have Taurus eight times in your birth chart. My birth chart is like all earth. It's, it's, it's like, it's like all Taurus for the most part. It's like all Taurus and all, um, Scorpio. Mostly Taurus and Scorpio dominate my birth chart. Okay, and it's mostly Earth. Um, but truthfully, it's like the majority is just fixed signs. So I'm already a double fix. Okay, with I'm, you know, I'm a Taurus sign, a Scorpio moon, that's two fixed signs. My Venus is in Taurus. Okay. You say your birth chart has everything? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it does keep me ground. I have to stay ground. I keep so many plants around me too. Like when I don't have a lot of plants around me, I don't even feel good. You say you 44 and you look like you 34. I know that's right. Okay. It, like in my mind, okay, when I'm in my 40s, okay, I'm just going to be fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm aiming for. Okay. You say you have an 18 year old too. You say your oldest daughter will be 38 in November. Okay, shout out to you. Okay, yeah. That's awesome. Let's see. So I will be in Chicago um, next week. I'm super excited. I'm going to a concert. Um, I think I told you guys about that. Uh, Scorpio, Jupiter. Okay, you said you thought 35. Okay, okay. Let's see. You got Scorpio and Jupiter. Okay, so who? Your intuition is insane. It's just insane. You'll be 40 tomorrow. I know that's right. You look amazing. Yes, for Nikki. Yes, yes. That's where I'm going for Nikki. Absolutely. Okay. Happy, Um, you said 40 tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday. You say you'll be 50 in June, but you look like you're late 30s. I know that's right. See, I already know y'all drink water, okay? That's one thing I know about all of my subbies, that y'all drink water. 
Because there's no way in the world that I don't think, I don't think I could attract a crowd of people who don't drink water. Okay, so I know y'all look good. <laughs> okay, because y'all drink water. <laughs> Okay, I know that's right. Y'all drink water. Y'all could never be that sour body secretions lady in my other deck. Okay, because you drink water. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, you'll be 48 on the 29th. A lot of Tauruses in the building. Okay. You say you have damn near a gallon a day. I know that's right. Well, water is life changing is life changing. All right, you guys, y'all done held me for too long. I gotta go. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's see. You say you be dying when I mention that card. I cannot, for real. <laughs> I be dying when I mention that card. I'm trying to be like, what was I thinking when I made that card? <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, damn, you can smell this karmic coming. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Hi, you said hi from Sweden. Hi, Sweden. Okay, you say you new here. You say I must have popped up for a reason. I hope so. Definitely check out the live stream. Check out my channel. My um channel. You say it's the roach and cats for it's the roach cats for you. <laughs> oh my goodness, the roach card for you. Yeah, that card is hilarious. You from Long Beach? Okay, I love you guys too. My email, info at mermaidprophetess.com. Okay, all right, you guys, I gotta go. I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Okay, I'm so tired. Okay, you guys, so I will catch y'all later. Y'all, this video is so long. It's so long. Okay, so I don't even know how YouTube is going to treat this video in the algorithm because of how long the video is. So now I need a huge favor from you guys. Okay? I need a huge favor from you guys now because this video is so long. I should have like, I was supposed to stop at two hours. Okay, but I wanted to hang out with you guys for a bit because I usually don't get a chance to do that. Um, and I was definitely happy to share the um, astrology information with you guys. So I need a favor. I need all of you guys to do it. It's 748 of you guys. Share the video. Okay, that's the best thing that you could do for me. Share the video, please, okay? That's how YouTube knows you love my content. That's how I know you love my content. Share the video. If you guys could do anything for me, please share, share, share the video. I would hate to see this video like suffer in the algorithm because of how long it is, okay? So that's how we can counter you know, the video getting suppressed because of how long it is. Um, will it be up tonight? Yeah, it's going to be up. I'm not, I'm not taking it down. If it, I'm just going to update the thumbnail and put a title on it. Um, but the best thing you guys could do is actually share the video. Okay, please do. Okay, share, share, share. That's how YouTube knows. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Okay, email it to people. Text it to people. Share it, okay? <laughs> Share it on your Facebook, on your IG, social media, Pinterest, wherever. Share, share, share. Okay, let's counter YouTube getting upset that the video is so long. Okay, yes, exactly, Eileen. We got to counterattack the algorithm by sharing this video like crazy. Like if you guys wondered like why I'll be watching myself like, oh my God, this video is too long. Um, it's because YouTube is not a big fan of super long videos unless they get like shared a lot. Okay. Um, so that's the biggest thing that you guys can do for me is share the video. Okay. I'm going to go back through all of y'all comments when I, and see what I should title the video. I know a lot of y'all put suggestions. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And, um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. I'll see you guys.